Piccolo was evil. Check him out before he mellowed. Dragon Ball. Weeknights at 6.30. Youth is wasted on the young. Two brave forces battle for the ultimate prize. With a clash of their mighty armor, the powers of the cosmos collide. They are Knights of the Zodiac. Saturday nights at 7. Only on Saturday. Are you the girl or my I'm guy? I'm the girl. You're the guy. He's the girl. Okay, I'm the guy. Okay. Yeah. We're sitting here and we're watching this movie. And I'm, I'm pretty he loud. He just won't shut up. I'm pretty loud when we get into movies because I like to have fun. He's already seen the movie like twice and, and he's saying all the... And about to cut this blue wire up here and I'm like, no, not the blue wire, the blue wire, no. And I'm... Shut and up. And then finally somebody, I don't know who it was. They're, 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 they're throwing popcorn shoes, at him. They're throwing and stuff and all of a sudden out of nowhere. All of a sudden he comes an m and and knocks him out of the way and now he's my date. I like my m and ms Hey, Bow Wow, how you doing? What's up? Soup's up. I've got some Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Campbell's soups are made just for you, Bow Wow. They've got the stuff you like. It's good. You have any more? Uh, there's not enough for both of us, I'm sorry. I'll play you for it. Bring it on. That awesome broth is mine, Mr. BW. I like those noodles, huh? Oh, drop. Man, what are you doing? Campbell's. It's got the goods. Over 60 beans you can collect. Each pack and track sold separately from Spin Master. Hot Wheels City is under attack by a T-Rex who's dishing out some serious attitude. And he's huge! Only you and your buddies can stop him. Whoa! They just got trashed and trapped. Now, taking down this truckload of teeth is all up to you. Nailed it! You saved them. Must have been something he ate. Yeah. But he'll be back, and you'll be ready. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels T-Rex playset. Adult assembly required. Batteries and cars not included. Breakfast. Okay, I've got honeycomb. Honeycomb? Me want honeycomb. Single five, please. Hiya! Me giggly is a booty. Honeycomb cereal is part of this good breakfast. Hey, do you have Kira's number? Uh, yeah, yeah, let me check. Uh -huh. Want to get connected? Is it back here? Uh, that's a calendar. Now you can get this cool PDA free with two proofs of purchase plus postage and handling. See specially marked boxes of these post cereals. I got it! I got it! You only got 55 seconds to get in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just open the back door. Why are you always late? 45 seconds is plenty of time. Hey, Florida. I'm coming. Every day the same thing. Look out, coming through. <laughs> show to do here. It's gonna be close. This fall, Tsunami's blown up all week. Monday to Thursday, SD Gundam's at 5. Justice League joins in at 5.30. Transformers Armada at 6. Round it off with Dragon Ball. Let's go! Fridays, it's still SD Gundam at 5. Weekly He-Man at 5.30. Transformers Armada at 6. Then a world premiere Dragon Ball GT. Got it? Tsunami. Weekdays 5 to 7. Brought to you by Nintendo. Who are you? 
war between the Autobots and the Decepticons rages on as they struggle to retrieve the prized Minicons. There are new and more powerful Minicons surfacing every day. If the Decepticons prove victorious, then Megatron and his enslaved Minicons will control the universe. The Earth's only chance for a peaceful cosmos is for Optimus Prime and the Autobots to destroy their enemy and free all Minicons. Now, get ready for a new battle. Transformers! You don't stand a chance against me, Jetfire. Oh yeah? Bring it on, Smokey! Okay, but remember, you asked for it. I'm ready when you are. I'm gonna enjoy this. You're all talk. Let's see some action. In my rulebook, loser always goes first. Same in mine, so how come you're not following me? Come on, Smokescreen! Do it, Jetfire! Go for it! Hey, Alexis. How come you're cheering for both of them? Because, Carlos, I want them both to win. Yeah, right, sure. <laughs> I just don't understand girls. Yeah, that's it! You got him now, smoke screen! Well, what are the chances of that happening? You beat me again. I think my arm must have fallen asleep, so lucky break for you this time, Jetfire. Nice try, smoke screen. Uh -huh. But that makes it your third loss in a row. He just can't admit being inferior to me, that's all. Lucky doesn't have an ego. Yeah. <laughs> right. It seems ever since Jetfire showed up on Earth, the mood around the Autobots base has really come alive. Everyone is so full of energy and ready to go into battle against the Decepticons. Now it's only a matter of time before they have to put it to the test. Something I'm not looking forward to. Transformers. I must admit, Megatron, that my battle plans have fallen, uh, how should I put it, a little short. But it gave me a chance to assess our fighting power, and I've made a few adjustments for our next encounter. Hmm. Simply put, the Autobots do not match our superior assault, defense, and strategic abilities. There is, however, one area that our enemy does seem to have a slight advantage in. How should I put this? <laughs> yes, what? Well, come on, spit it out. Promise you won't get angry at me. I do not like games. Now out with it. They know how to work as a team. Are you implying that we are disorganized thrust? Don't you dare insult my ability as supreme leader of the Decepticons unless you are willing to back it up with your life. My men are far superior to every single Autobot ever created. I totally agree, sir. I'm merely making an observation. The Decepticons overall are superior, but if you'll allow me to explain, they lack discipline. And in battle, they don't work together as a team. I've seen it happen twice now, and both times we were defeated. Uh, Give me a chance to finish! Uh. Uh, thank you, sir. You won't regret your decision. However, if you still insist on destroying me, then uh, so be it. I'm just saying, we cannot continue the way we have been. Otherwise, we don't stand a chance in winning the war against the Autobots. So, then are you suggesting you have yet another little plan, Thrust? I do. Uh, and I suggest it only as your strategist. Uh, believe me, sir, I have no intention of overstepping my rank. Yeah, yeah, yeah! You've been blabbing away about all your great strategies, but you haven't won a single battle yet! He's right, sir! So far, Thrust has been nothing but talk! And besides, he doesn't even help us I've in heard enough whining! Huh? Don't any of you get my point? Here we are, arguing, which is exactly what I've been trying to explain to you. Meanwhile, the Autobots are probably out collecting minicons. We must capture the Skyboom shield from the Autobots. That, combined with the Star Saber, will make us invincible! You're right. I'm sick and tired of being on this miserable, bleak little planet. We simply must retrieve the Skyboom shield. And once this happens, more Decepticons will come to Earth to help us in our quest. What do you mean, more Decepticons? Trust me, everything will become clear in time. But first, we have another issue that must be attended to. Oh. Oh, 
What's the deal with this thing? What are you doing, Hotshot? It doesn't go there. No way! I was sure it was supposed to go here. No, Optimus, sir. That panel goes on the other wall. Okay, listen. Everyone take a break. I'll finish up here. Hey, guys! Check out Red Alert! I think he just appointed himself King Bot. Well, by the looks of it, he sure knows what he's doing. Hey, wait a second. Has anyone seen Jetfire? Yeah, where is he? Yeah, uh, he's probably just slacking off somewhere. Huh? And I think I'm gonna join him. Because I don't have a clue about all this techno geek stuff. See ya. Oh. Wait, hey, Hotshot, wait up! So what's the plan here anyway? Are all you guys heading back to Cybertron once your shuttle is up and running? Well, come on, what's the scoop? Our mission on Earth is to recover every single Minicon. And until that job is completed, we stay put. That's the scoop. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> but eventually, you are going back? You betcha. And honestly, I can hardly wait. But don't worry, one day we'll all come back here. I mean, after all, I think I'd really start to miss you guys. Know what I mean? Hey, I got a question. How come Jetfire doesn't act like second-in-command? Yeah, I know. The dude just seems to slack off all the time. He's not at all like Optimus. And he's not as good-looking as me, either. Well, I suppose so. You do have a certain rugged charm. <laughs> you seriously think I'm hot stuff? Hey, don't let it go to your head, all right? What a poser. <laughs> <laughs> Firepower hey, Jetfire, what's up? I was just reviewing some data on our last battle with the Decepticons. Yeah, we thought you were just slacking off. Aw, he's doing his homework. Unlike a few others I just won't mention. Hey, did you just diss us, Alexis? <laughs> Check it out! Hey, that was the first time Optimus went up against Megatron. Highwire transformed to become Perceptor. And remember how Hotshot and Carlos nearly became Swift Cheese? Oh man, don't even go there or I'll end up in therapy! Oh yeah! And remember the first time we saw Optimus transform in that really cool base? It was sweet! We might have lost that battle, but at least we saved the forest. that? That's Sideways. He is a lowlife. He pretended to be an Autobot and then he deserted us. He totally tricked us and he had full run of our base and everything. Yeah, that virus even had me fooled. Then he had the gall to go and steal the Star Saber from me. <laughs> sideways, huh? Looks like a lowlife to me. Don't you think Thrust will foil Megatron's attempts to take over the Universe Demolisher? I don't trust him as far as I can throw him! I'd love to crush that arrogant mainframe into a pile of... titanium shavings! Something has to be done about Thrust, or we can just say goodbye to winning this war. So, do you have any ideas? Yes. We must destroy him. But how? I, I mean, we both know he's Megatron's right-hand man! He's playing a con game with Megatron, and winner takes all. Uh, then we have no choice. Are you loyal to Megatron? Huh? Now's the time to prove it, Demolisher. B -b but if we bring Thrust down, won't it go against Megatron's orders? I told you, it's for Megatron's own good. Are you sure about this? I'm positive. Now go show your allegiance to Megatron. It's your duty. Yes, you're right. It will be done. 
That's the spirit. Now show me what you can do against that traitor thrust. Don't worry, Sideways. You can count on me. The first thing I'll do is convince Cyclonus and Starscream to join me in taking care of this little matter, and then we'll eliminate Thrust before you can blink an eye. Hey, where do you think you're going? Forget it, Demolisher. I'll take care of this myself. Even if it means sending Megatron into exile. Wait, Sideways, I can do this, really! Just give me a chance to prove myself! <laughs> I'm not so sure. What makes you think I can trust you? There is no one more loyal to Megatron than me, and never question it again, Sideways. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, what's weird? Are you really sure he's a Decepticon? Huh? But he pulled a fast one on us! What else could he be, Jetfire? Don't be so quick to judge. Check this out. <laughs> I'll zoom in. Huh? Holy cow! It was Sideways who fired that shot on Cyclonus. How can you be so sure? Maybe it's just a video glitch. I don't think so. I've watched this footage a hundred times and it's Sideways alright. I agree, Jetfire. And I didn't see any sign of a digital video edit. But why in the world was he helping us out? I still don't get it. Yeah, something here still doesn't make sense to me. And to me either. Something... something is wrong here. Transformers. Megatron? Megatron! Where are you? I wonder why he wanted to meet me way out here. I'm starting to get a funny feeling about this. <laughs> Don't play me for a fool, Thrust. I know you're only out to bring down Megatron, and I won't let that happen. I've had enough of your insubordination, you worthless weasel, and now it's time to throw out my trash! And don't you ever show your face around here again, Thrust! Because if you do, I'll be waiting for you! <laughs> that should keep him busy for a while. Sideways reporting in is ordered. The Autobots are now the stronger army. Huh? Who's there? <laughs> I thought it was you! Eat laser! <laughs> My gut instinct was right about you, Sideways! Talk! 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 Enough already! Would you zip in and hurry up, Demolisher? Huh? Does anyone know where we're going around here? Oh, hey there, Sideways! What's he doing down here? He pulled a fast one on us, gentlemen. Huh? Serious? <laughs> Are you deaf? He just said Sideways duped us, moron! So that must mean... It means Sideways has another agenda against our great leader, Megatron. It's that simple. If you recall, I mentioned there was no unity among us. That's because we have been infiltrated by a spy! I don't believe this! How could I have been so gullible? Aw, oh, don't cry, poor baby! <laughs> Good work, Thrust. Thank you, sir. I knew I could count on you. It's time to pay for your crime sideways. What's happening? That's four. Stay put and let Thrust handle this. And let's see what a loyal warrior he turns out to be. Alter on fire!
So, can we trust Sideways, or what's the deal? I wish I had an answer for you, Rad. It's like the old saying, good defense is the best offense. So I think we just keep our eye on him. Boy, I wish I knew. Yeah, me too, Billy. Hey, when are we gonna eat? Would you just forget about your stomach for five minutes, Fred? We should listen to Jetfire. You know, I guess it would help if we knew exactly what Sideways' intentions here on Earth were. To collect Minicons. What else, Rad? Wait, if you think about it for a minute, he's had chances to steal the shield and the Star Saber. Yeah, that's right! Good point. Well, not to change the subject or anything, but is anyone getting hungry? Because I am. You never stop, do you? So then we all agree. For now, Sideways can't be trusted. Right, uh, you got it. Yep, can't be trusted. No siree, he's definitely off the list. Stalker, you are. Time to flush you out into the open, my friend, because I know you can't hide my dust. <laughs> I hope you realize I outpower you with my Minicon Inferno. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I must say I'm impressed. Listen up. Destroy him, Frost. Yes, sir. Now what? <laughs> Impossible. How do you do that? This is getting weird. <laughs> oh. Finally eradicated the virus. What the? This is one virus you'll never eliminate, Megatron. You see, I can change my appearance anytime I please, and I can fight at any power level. So you'll never destroy me. Never! <laughs> I'm going to crush you like a bug. Boom Shield and the Star Saber are just mere toys to me, Megatron. There are millions of minicons out there to be recovered, and let's see who's gonna win that race. <laughs> Optimus, do the smart thing and surrender. You should take your own advice, Megatron! No, no one has ever won a war with mere words. words. And, and once, once I've collected all the Minicons, you shall be no more! I've had enough of your ceaseless blathering! The Minicons belong to us! Fire at will! Take cover and return fire! Take cover! Come on! Get out! 
A new battle has begun, and the Autobots are going head-to-head -head with the Decepticons. The question is, do the Autobots have what it takes to fend off the bad guys, or is it only a matter of time before Megatron controls the universe? of the new Fridays here on Cartoon Network. That's Tommy. Hi. <laughs> I enjoy singing, reading. Oh, she speaks Japanese. Yeah, I speak some Japanese, and I love watching cartoons. The new Friday, starting this Friday at 7, only on Cartoon Network. <laughs> it's so cool. Connects the new Ribbon Rocket Roller Coaster. You can build a real working extreme roller coaster. Fired by two turbo boosters for instant acceleration. Go vertical and upside down. The new Ribbon Rocket Roller Coaster from Connects. What have you built lately? Sweet. Really sweet. And good. Really good. The new Juicy Fruit Graper Melon Flavored Slurpee Drink from Coca Cola. Only at 7 Eleven. Must be pretty tasty. Hungry? Thirsty? Oh, thank heaven. Mighty beans are on the scene. Mighty beans. They're really something when they're jumping. Mighty beans. We bowl, we pop, play games and hop. I wonder what I got. Some are rare, some are hot. You can collect them all. Mighty beans. Mighty beans. Each pack and track sold separately from Spin Master. Snakes shed their skin 15 times over their lifetime. One reason why they never get zits. Lucky snakes. Zap zit kills acne causing bacteria fast. Guaranteed. Vote for our next ad at Zapsit.com. Great get on the return. Look at the intensity. What an amazing rally. They're smacking the ball. That's a wake-up call. Make every day game day. Verb, it's what you do. Hey, what's with the little lolly? How about a jumbo jumping push pop? It jumps by itself, so you don't need to use those sandy hands. Yep. It jumps, it jumps, it jumps, it jumps. Ouch! You got the push! You got the power! Oh. Oh. Every gusher's piece is bursting with fruity juice. Let's go! Taste the blast. On October 10th, one boy will discover... Sit! Speak! Ah! ...that his new best friend... He's really, really smart, Dad. Everyone thinks they've got the smartest dog in the universe. He is out of this world. Play dead? I drank out of that bowl. Good boy. Rated PG. Starts Friday, October 10th at theaters everywhere. This 
is Neotopia, peaceful city of the future, a home to man and machine. Humans and robots coexist here in harmony, in a society that can almost be described as paradise. But Neotopia has its problems. It is being threatened by the Dark Axis, invaders from another dimension. To protect the peace in Neotopia, a boy named Shoot, that's me, and a team of unique robots known as the Gundam Force are bound by an unshakable resolve to oppose the Dark Axis wherever they may appear. Where are they? The forces of the Dark Axis, where are they? Speak, blank-faced simpleton. Tell me where they are or feel my blade. They are near, I can sense them. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but you'll have to hand over your weapon. Here in Neotopia, we mobile citizens are not allowed to are carry- Are you mad? A warrior surrender his sword? Never. Mm -mm. This could get ugly. Come, take them from me, if you dare. Don't you think that maybe we ought to do something, Captain? He is not an easy Gundam to reason with. Hold there! Stop your bellowing! Zero! You! Do not interfere, Knight of Lacroix! Call yourself a warrior. Bah! Oh, that's not gonna help! I am a mightier warrior than you! A true warrior knows when to temper his rage with humility and courtesy. You are but a guest here, and you must respect their ways. Sheath your sword! What? With the minions of the Dark Axis all around us? I see none of them here in this peaceful park. Perhaps it's their presence in my own dimension that I sense. I must return there at once! A task easier said than done, as I well know. Huh? I knew it! It's one of them! Forward, and tango! There he goes again. Ah! I'm sorry, but your master must learn to control his temper. Oh boy! Past! You shall taste my blade for that! Hey, I really don't think that thing is what you think it is. Welcome to Neotopia's new peace park. I represent the power of art to unite people and bring peace to the world. There, see? How do we know it's not a ruse? Just to put us all off our guard. Calm down, Samurai. You need to relax. Stop and smell the flower. Huh? What? Profane my sacred blade, will you? Ah, I warned you for the last hey, time. Stand wait, still! No, Coward! No, ah, stand still! Huh? Be careful! It's a trap! It's a carpet. Right there. Please don't move. Not yet. Almost done. She and that giant, they're the same. Yeah, she was the model for the statue. You know that woman? That's Margaret Gathermoon. She's our mayor. Mayor? And finished. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I just had to try sketching the three of you. Voila! What do you think? Whoa, cool! Lovely, milady. Oh, are those flowers for me? You really shouldn't have. My pleasure, my pleasure. Your pleasure? Oh, stop it, you two. You must be shoot. How do you do? Huh? You know me? Really? The chiefs told me all about our new honorary member of the Gundam Force. Oh. Looks like you and your friends have drawn quite a crowd. Try and keep a lower profile from now on, okay? Okay. They're just shooting a movie, everyone. Now please clear the area so you don't get in the way of their cameras, all right? Thank you. Haha. <laughs> a movie. That's quick thinking. I know you're homesick, but there's plenty you could do here while you're waiting to get back. And after all, you're not the only Gundam in the same boat. Isn't that right, Zero? Yes, I too am an exile. 
Even now, Ark is under attack by the Dark Axis. I cannot stand helplessly by. I must return at once and wield my sword in its defense. You can't. The transport device. Are you forgetting you broke it? You cannot blame me for that. How was I expected to know what it was? No one blames you. Still, Dr. Bell says it will be inoperative for some time. Bakuna tomorrow. You can still help defeat the Dark Axis by helping us. Come on, join our Gundam force. What do you say? I am no sword for hire. I fight only for Ark. Calm yourself, Samurai. <laughs> Stop doing that! <laughs> oh, Stand still! I thought you fought only for Ark. Fight like a Gundam! <laughs> Come back here! Oh, <laughs> brother. Zaku! No sign of the Gundam force, sir. Zaku, Zaku. Phew. That sure is a relief. Zahu? Come again, sir? Zahu? Nothing! Now then, if you're absolutely sure the coast is clear! Affirmative. We're safe. Zahu, a good idea to hide from them in these rotating pleasure pods, sir. I don't blame you for not wanting to face them again. Zahu, Zahu? Zahu. I didn't mean hiding, you animated ass cans! I'm just waiting to spring my trap. Let's see how they handle a 50-foot woman with a bad temper! <laughs> What's that? So, I sensed there was danger in that statue. <laughs> Zapper Zaku. Right. Perhaps this Zapper Zaku will know how I can get back to my homeland. Forward, Entango! Bakunetsumaru! Hey, wait up! Come on. He'll need our help. Go for it. him to tell me. We'll be right back. You're watching Superior Defender Gundam Force. Ah! Surrender! Give me one good reason, horse boy. I won't carve you into scrap metal. Hmm, so tempting. But I have a counter proposal. We blast you into atoms! Ah! Bakuna Tsumaru! There are too many, even for me! What? Captain, you... you 
saved me! Watch out! Captain! Huh? I'll save him! Really? And just who is going to save you? Forget about me! Look out for yourselves! Captain, hang on! Shoot! Oh. Mayor Gathermoon? It isn't safe here, milady. I came as soon as I heard. I think I know how you might be able to neutralize that statue. We're all ears, ma'am. You see that platform on its left hand? There's a switch there that controls the loudspeaker. That's it. Without that speaker cannon, she's nothing. But how to get at it? Stand back. Here goes nothing. What do you... Shoot! Come back! That's just what I'd expect from a member of Gundam Force. in this dimension, too. Not for long! Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, someone's gonna have to pay for those, and it won't be me! <laughs> now we will talk. Uh, almost there! Uh. She forgot to tell me which one's the switch that shuts it off! You can't escape! That's exactly what I'm doing! You just try and stop me! Here and Tango! <laughs> okay. Tango can! Whoa, simmer down, let's not do anything I'll regret! <laughs> Chance, what do you mean? Go through the gate, it can take you back home. He's right, Baku. It's a type of dimensional transport device. What that you must act quickly before it closes. Forward and tango. <laughs> okay, Eeny, Meeny, Miny, or whatever. <laughs> I'm too far away! Ah! Are you alright? You are too reckless for one with such a fragile structure. Yes, sir. <laughs> now will you leave this to me? Mm-hmm. And Tango! Oh! I think so. Definitely. Yeah, way to go, guys!
Not yet! Here I must stay. And if I go astray, last in each dark day, I will find This is what is called music? Well, some people call it that. Crowds mm -hmm. formed in the Peace Goodness Park this morning to witness what appeared to be a violent battle between robot warriors. What was that? Uh-oh. Uh, you really think you should let Nana watch this, Mom? Robot warriors, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. They were only shooting a movie. Actually, it's quite thrilling for Neotopia. Our city's going to be featured in a major motion picture. <laughs> Blazing Samurai? He's kind of cute. Oh, yeah, he's <laughs> cute if you like him short, red, and built like a trash can. Mark? Huh? You're jealous. Mm-hmm. Phew. That was close. Let's just hope he stays out of sight at SDG base. My sense. <laughs> huh? Bakunatsumaru? Uh, hi, what on earth are you doing here? I prefer solid ground beneath my feet. It's him, the Blazing Samurai. We were just talking about you. What's up? What brings you here? Friend of yours, Captain? Huh? Uh, yeah. That's right. They're old friends, right, Captain? Uh, that's right. We are old friends. Well, any friend of Captain's is a friend of ours. Would you like to stay for dinner? If I wouldn't be intruding. Good, it's settled then. Better put another hamburger on the barbecue. <coughs> ah, I didn't quite catch your name. Bakunetsumaru. Oh, that's a mouthful. Do they call you anything for short? No. Well, come on in, buddy. How do you like your burger? Well done? I, uh, prefer that to badly done? Might as well join them. Right. Hey, hey, wait for us. Come on, everybody, it's chow time. Put on two for me, Dad. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. <laughs> oh, sorry, Antango. Zako! 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 Ladies and gentle bots, welcome to the Zako Zako Hour. Today's meeting is all about... All together now? About why we duck axes can never win. I don't understand why we can't win. It's too difficult for a poor little Zako. Zako! I know the reason, Zako, Zako. Tell us, Zako. We can't win because the enemy has three Gundams against us, poor Zakos. Oh, oh really? really? Captain Gundam from Neotopia. Zako, <laughs> Zako, Zero the Night Gundam from Lakroa. And Baku Natsumaru, the Musha Gundam of Ark. Because they have those three, there's no way we can win. Get it? But, 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 like Lord Zapper Zaku! Eh, Lord Grappler Goo! Eh, <laughs> Lord Destroyer Dom! Yeah, but, 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 the, the, the Dark Axis also has three very strong guys, Zaku. Yet despite that, why do we lose to them? Zaku! It just doesn't add up, Zaku. It just makes no sense mathematically! Mm, I'll uh, double check my figures. Uh, one, two, three, Zaku. And one, two, three. Yeah! Four. This creature is always hanging around the Gundams. He's becoming so irritating to us. He's a nuisance. He's a disturbance. Yeah, he's a little organic bug, Zacko. Zacko, Zacko, Zacko. He hates soft and flabby creatures like that organic, Zacko. It's sickening, Zacko. However, Zacko. Now we see the enemy is not only three Gundams, but... There are four, including this bug, Zacko. One. Huh? Oh, two, three. You know, we Zakos are only three, two, Zako, Zako. This is the reason why Lord Zapper Zaku and the others can hardly win the battles. Zako. I tell you, Zako, it's just not fair. Yeah, we're losing Zako. Four against three. Zako, Zako. I just thought we always lost because Lord Zapper Zaku and the others were much too weak. And that's exactly what I was thinking, Zako. I guess we all thought they were too weak, huh, yeah. Zako? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you morons call weak? How dare you talk behind my back, right under my nose? That's why we can never win! You see? Oh, oh, no, we're so sorry. Anyway, everyone, for the future of the Dark Axis... Psycho Soldier Fight!
Connor. You're watching SD Gundam. Up next, the spirit detective is on the case. Get ready for Yu Yu Hockey Show. And later on, the fight against Boo continues on Dragon Ball Z. Welcome back. Roshi's master imprisoned him. Now, King Piccolo is free and looking for some payback. Hunt them down. All of them leave not one standing. See the world you only thought you knew. Oh, boy! Dragon Ball. Tonight at 6.30. This world will soon be mine. Youth is wasted on the young. Sonic the Hedgehog, Billy Hatcher, and the Giant Egg. Rated everyone. Only on Nintendo GameCube. It's talking Gooey Louie, the game where you pick gooeys out of Louie's nose. Don't look, it's too gross. Pick a gooey and hear what Louie says. It's really tickled. Pick the wrong gooey and his brain pops out. <laughs> oh, gross. Talking Gooey Louie, you couldn't pick a gooey or game. Batteries not included. Hey, Donnie. It's turtle time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael. Four ninja fighting turtles who battle evil from the sewers of New York City. Let's take the sewer slider or the shell cycle. New extreme turtles with extreme weapons and vehicles. Scoot and Leo, Thrash and Mike, Bike and Don, Skate and Raph. It's time to come out of your shell. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Vehicles and New Extreme Turtles, each sold separately. game with cool DJ sounds. One player scratches out a cool mix. Give me three moves. Put back the track. Then the other DJ has to match him. Move for move. Did it. Give me six moves. <laughs> the battle keeps on going until one DJ breaks the beat. Don't give up your day job. Keep the turntable spinning and you're the Mix Master Champion. Talking DJ Battle Mix. Batteries not included. On the road of life, second chances are rare. Watch out, kid! But for Yusuke Yurameshi, fate has intervened. This is weird. You have all that's required to be detective of the spirit world. That's a fancy title. Between the world of the living and the realm of the dead, he is both champion and protector. <laughs> Yu Yu Hakusho, all new episode, next. Shotgun! Tsunami. News has been circulating recently about two people with extraordinary spirit energy. You have all that's required to be detected of the spirit. Shut down! Humans! I will rip you apart and eat you myself! And here's the kill! Go home if you don't want to die! Pardon me if I make this quick. <laughs>
After returning from the dead, 14-year-old Yusuke Urameshi has become a spirit detective, tracking down supernatural creatures who have gone astray. Growing up as a hard-edged delinquent, he continues to learn about his powers and himself. With newfound abilities, Yusuke has just brought down the evil Saint Beasts. Now, with the help of friends, Yusuke's work continues. Get out of bed! You're going to be late! Again! Push on! Ugh. Wait! Your bag? No thanks. I'm calling the school office to check. <laughs> like I'd skip. It's the perfect plan. Sleep in and get plenty of exercise running. It isn't my favorite three-eyed demon. What's up, PA? You're not stalking me again, are you? What's that? From Koenma. Koenma? Isn't this Botan's gig? I don't know. I'm following orders. You're following Koenma's orders? Something wrong, Hiei? Strange guy. <laughs> Damn it! Have you sent him? Yes, Yusuke should be getting the tape right now, so we can only pray things happen as planned. Do you think Hiei suspects anything? Probably, but he's still far from the truth, I think. Maybe you should have accompanied him to be sure. I believe we'll be all right. Hiei may sense something wrong, but he'll leave Yusuke to fix it. Mm, I hope you're right. Kuwabara! <clears throat> You've got a nice VCR in your room, don't you? Ours is a piece of junk, so let's go to your house. What is it, Urameshi? A nudie movie? <laughs> Maybe. It's from Spirit World. I had a dream you'd bring that up today, and the answer is no! You're not risking my life again! What are you talking about? You're the guy who leaped into that portal last time while I was telling you to go home. Uh, dress up the facts all you want. I'm not fighting anymore, period. <laughs> yep, I am gonna be a scientist. Yusuke, uh, is it your goal to get a detention every day of school? You know you can't bring videos here. Well, at least I'm here, right? Are you trying to hide something from me? No, why? There's a cassette in your armpit. <laughs> what, Yusuke? The next time you go off on one of these cases, you have to promise to tell me about it. That's all I'm asking for. Okay, fine. To tell you the truth, I got this thing from Spirit World. Huh? I haven't seen the video yet, but odds are it's my next big case. So how's that for spilling my guts? Hey, what's wrong? What's a spirit world? <laughs> you got amnesia or something? I thought Botan explained everything to you about my job as spirit detective. Huh? Right, she told me all about your internship with that great detective. Oh, of course. Spirit world must be the name of the agency of the guy you work for. <laughs> Okay, Botan, what the hell kind of explanation did you give her? She thinks I'm a friggin' intern in some screwed-up after-school program. For juvenile delinquents! Well, I had to make up something believable to explain your absence without mentioning the supernatural. A basic tenet of Spirit World is that it can't run properly if normal humans have proof of it. Well, you made me sound lame. Enough already! Can we please just watch the video instead of arguing? You're gonna annoy my sister. Besides, Botan is right. Keiko's not supposed to know, so the truth would only get her in trouble. Maybe you should care more about her safety than worrying about some stupid cover story. 
I just love being tag-teamed. Oh, thank you, Kuwabara. You're very wise. What can I say, Botan? You and I seem to be a perfect match in every way. <laughs> now, one more thing before I press play, Urameshi. Whatever kind of mission it is, there's no way I'm getting involved. Okay, okay, just start the tape. They go all out, huh? Either he's full of himself or he's really bored. Welcome. How do you like my video? The great Kuenma, ruler of the spirit world, has yet another important case for you. This is seriously the guy you get your jobs from, Urameshi? This little bitty toddler? I said the same thing when I met him and Botan hit me in the head. Perhaps that's why Kuenma's doing the video this time. He can't bear these first reactions. <laughs> this mission will be another doozy. Hopefully, you will survive. By the way, don't worry about people entering the room. This video is specially encrypted and will appear as annoying fuzz to anyone without heightened spirit awareness. Now, your mission is search and rescue, except without the searching. Watch my magic snap. Come on, that's just a cheap camera trick. <laughs> this will tell you, Missy. Shut up! <laughs> Spirit World Intelligence reports that the captive is being held in a mountain stronghold around 200 miles from your city. And not being of driving aid yourself, you will have to take the bus. The mountain is a base of criminal activity. Normally I don't mind that, but the humans have made ties with some very nasty demons. The captive's name is Yukina. She's an ice apparition. Very rare. Equally rare are the beautiful jewels she can produce, which is why the criminals have captured her. They hope to profit greatly off of Yukina, forcing her to create these jewels at an unnatural pace. And by force, I mean torture. That's horrible. You see, there is only one way to make the jewels. Her tears. <laughs> The Hiroseki Stone. In the black market, those jewels sell easily for thousands. Here is the human behind the operation. His name is Ganzu Tarukane, a jeweler and a thug. He's made something of a name and a fortune for himself in the black market by selling red jewels. E, he's too ugly to be a human. He's too ugly to be anything. Here are the most recent pictures we have of Yukina. Memorize her face. <sighs> This mission goes far beyond jewelry thieves. It is imperative that you bring her back quickly. <laughs> oh, I feel awful for her. We have to leave today. What's his deal? Uh, <laughs> you look miserable. I think I'm in love. What? Well, come on, you, Missy! Uh, Let's send those bad guys to the moon! I thought you weren't coming. Shut up! Don't try and dress up the facts again! I'm a good friend and I can't let you go save her alone! She's suffering! Huh? Chizuru? How long have you been here? Calm down, Princess. I just heard you watching that weirdo movie, so I thought you'd like some kitty snacks or something. We're just watching Fuzz. Fuzz, yes, Fuzz. We find it relaxing. Oh, then I must have imagined the little boy with the pacifier giving you orders. <laughs> Kids today with your wild imaginations. Give up, Yusuke. Spirit awareness must run in the Kuwabara's family. Okay, Shizuru, you win. Now, can we have some money for the bus? Like, maybe a million or so? That's enough, right? Kiddo, for a million bucks, you could take a bus to Hawaii. Here's 50. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'll see you guys in a couple days! You think he knows the way to the mountain? Doubt it. That's my baby brother for you. Better eat your snacks. It'll take him a few hours to realize he doesn't know where he's going. Let's watch that video again. Welcome back, Your Excellency. What's new with the broad? She cry? No. 
I confess we've been having trouble with that, sir. She seems to have stripped herself of all emotions. Uh, them broads are all alike. Ask them nicely and they stiffen up like a dead bug. That's why I brought in some experts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These gents are called the Toguro Brothers. They're the leaders of the Apparition Gang. The Apparition Gang, sir? Are they not the ones who capture and sell demons? <laughs> yeah. Turns out they do business in all varieties of areas, including some demon torture. Let us handle it from here. We will make her cry. with you. You're messy, are you serious? She's a fighter and she's trying to get in our way. You need show will return in a moment. Premiering only on Disney DVD and video. It's back to Ape Mountain, where everyone is monkeying around. Hello. George of the Jungle 2, rated PG. Premiering only on Disney DVD and video. George of the Jungle Tuesday, October 21st. And they say humans are more evolved. <laughs> dudes, we're talking tech deck dudes. You know, those little critters. And now with Launcher Dudes, If you can't beat them, eat them. Chew up the competition with Kirby as he jets across 20 gut-busting race courses in Kirby Air Ride. Only on Nintendo GameCube. Rated E for everyone. Great. Great! Oh man. Oh man. Whoa! Whoa. Oh! Kellogg's S'more Cereal. All the taste of a campfire s'more without the campfire. Part of a complete breakfast. Now what? Now what? You can get some s'mores indoors. Microblast Racers. Extreme race pack. Extreme speed. Extreme stunts. Extreme handling. Everything you need for extreme racing action. Bridge collapse. Extreme race pack. You're the driver. 20 feet of easy stab racetrack. Multi-track layouts. Five traps. Watch out, port a body! Room to store four microblast racers and all the track in one pack. Extreme race pack. Power in the palm of your hand. The original award-winning microblast racer. Extreme race pack with bonus racer. Other vehicles sold separately. Batteries not included. From MGARC. Strava ba 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 berry. Strawberry Shortcake's got a new home. And we're invited. Strawberry Shortcake. Yeah. Happy Home includes furniture, doll sold separately from Bandai. Welcome back. You're watching the spirit detective at work on Yu Yu Hakusho. Up next, Majin Buu is on a loose. Can anyone stop him? Get ready for Dragon Ball Z. And later on, the quest for the eternal dragon rolls on with Dragon Ball. Come and get it. Sweet bird. If I had wings like you do, I promise I wouldn't be staying in here. Oh, don't you see? There are many better places to go, birds, far away from me. Go free. Uh, 
Every time we come to visit, she freezes the room. Frigid little whore, huh? Are you sure you wouldn't like one of our coats? You needn't worry about us. There she is. A real knockout, ain't she? But when it comes to feelings, it's like our heart's been frozen shut. We'll open the door, boys. Well now, you decided to warm up to your Uncle Tarukane yet? Don't bother. We've already tried filling that girl up with every kind of pain imaginable. No matter what, she just stares at the damn wall! Hmm. These innocent little birds keep you company and give you a small reason to hope, don't they? Too bad your feelings have betrayed them. <laughs> Please spare them! <laughs> Please! like her can have feelings is beyond me to think she made all that noise about some stinking birds now get off the floor and clean up your face i like my people to look happy when i'm having a good day call the market boys you can make this easier on yourself give up hope and start practicing how to cry Wow. Now this is a big waste of space. You know, Yusuke, some people like the wilderness. Yeah, old hermits and people who don't know how to talk to girls. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> you brothers came with a big price tag, but you sure get the job done. I'm gonna make a killing. What's the word? Are the market boys ready to buy yet, Sakashta? Problem, sir. Yeah? We've spotted intruders. All the way here in the mountains? Uh, there's no doubt some gold diggers trying to cash in on my scheme. Kill them. Chirukane, mm. grant a favor. Allow our demons to deal with these intruders. <laughs> This place smells like ass. <laughs> you know, there's no way we're gonna find this house by nightfall. The forest looked a lot smaller in the map. Come on, boys. The other trail goes all the way to the top. I think it's our best bet. Do we still have to walk? Let's go, you messy! <gasps> Wait for me, Yukina! Your true love is coming! <laughs> yeah! I guess he's done being in love with you, Botan. Tarn. What are you guys waiting for? We got a girl to rescue! Shouldn't we tell him about the rest of the video? Well, I'd hate to ruin his fun. In closing, I must say this case is quite delicate. You see, this ice apparition is not just some Jane Doe. Yukina is Hiei's sister. You 
Kino. I'm coming. What's wrong, Kuwabara? I'm sensing something really bad. Uh, the compass is going crazy. Yeah, well, I think I see him. Hey, how's it going, neighbor? You're on private property, boys and girls. You had better leave. We can't leave, we just got here. Yeah, we're lost and the birds ate our breadcrumbs. Pretty please, let us stay at your master's house. I'm afraid I cannot do that. Come on, we know he's got plenty of room. That's right, those crime lords always have really swank houses. Crime lord? And you seem to know a lot for being lost. Uh. You had your chance. <laughs> I'll have to make you leave myself, but I'm afraid I'm very clumsy. <laughs> Everyone I touch always ends up getting killed. I really don't know why they keep making me the security guard. You're a demon hired by Tarukine, right? That's very perceptive of you, and I have orders to kill anyone who comes after you, Kina. Well, that girl is a type of demon, right? So doesn't that make you cousins or something? Your own kind is being tortured so that no good human you work for can make money. Doesn't that take you off? Not at all. What? It is said there are humans who will sell their souls to the devil for power, right? <laughs> Demons can do it too. <laughs> I don't try acting holy. There isn't one among you whose loyalty couldn't be bought. Oh, please. <laughs> You creeps will say anything to make yourself feel better. You're just trash. What did you say? <laughs> Can't you hear right? He must have gotten carried away and sold his ears off too. Though no, you will regret this. <laughs> 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 And here I was thinking they'd make it easy for us, huh, Kuwabara? Yeah. And so the mission begins. A suffering prisoner, a vengeful brother, and a strange human-demon alliance unlike anything Yusuke has ever seen. Have I mentioned I hate tag teams? Well, that's exactly what they're pulling on us next, attacking us with three monster demons all at once. Meanwhile, up at the ugly guy's stronghold, they're bringing even more greedy men in on the scheme. It's turned into a who's who of dirty crime lords and twisted demons with a serious need for a toothbrush. Photon's even back to her old tricks as we bust ourselves up to the front gate. It's the kind of action you don't want to miss, so don't.
all that's required. That's it for you, Yu Yu Show. Dragon Ball Z is next. Included. Introducing the Matchbox Ultra Heroes vehicles. Squad Runner, Rumble Dozer, Buzz Copter, and more. Each sold separately. Lucha! What do you like best about Mucha Lucha on Kids WB? Is it toilets that attack or wrestlers who talk smack? Who's the man? Is it radical signature moves or the big bulldozer of truth? It's all Blaina. Is it the flying up, the falling down, the strutting in, or the butting out? Let me have you now! You can watch for yourself and find out. Yeah! Baby. Mucha Lucha, this Saturday at 10.30, 9.30 Central and Pacific on Kids WB. And now, Mucha Lucha, Heart of Lucha is available on DVD. Out of the shadows I arrive. I'm Batman. The Joker is struck again. Now he must face the Batmobile. The strongest vehicle known to man. Nothing can stand in the way of this unstoppable machine. You can run, but you can't hide, because Robin's cycle separates to surround you from all sides. Game over, Joker. It's time to fight crime. I'm Batman. Batmobile vehicle. You put it together. Six-inch figures, each sold separately. First, we set it off with an SD gun at 5. At 5.30, you scan friends try to keep the spirit world in check on Yu Yu Show. Dragon Ball Z brings the thing at 6, and we wrap it all up with Dragon Ball at 6.30. Toonami, weekdays 5 to 7. Check it out. <laughs> Kakarot haunts me so. Is it because he's always been one step ahead of me? Always succeeded where I have failed? First it was Frieza, defeating the tyrant that had held me in bondage my whole life. And then there was Cell, noble Kakarot, giving his life for the lives of his friends. Goodbye, my son. For my life. Well, no more. After all we've been through, it's finally my turn. I'll settle this so we can both rest in peace. Kakarot, when you wake up, this will all be over. I may be gone, but this planet will be safe. I'll stake my life on it. Okay, Boo, your time has come! And you too, Bobbity! We end this here!
What's going on? He's beating you! Why can't you do to him what you did to the others? Is this the best your monster can do, Bobbity? The terror of the universe? Ha! Pathetic! Uh, wow. And here I thought he couldn't get any cockier. <laughs> yeah! All right! Go for it, Dad! You can do it! You got him right where you want him, now finish him off! <laughs> yeah, go get him! Something's happened to Vegeta. Even for a Super Saiyan, he seems unnaturally strong. Majin Buu was able to take Gohan down. He killed him. I only hope Vegeta can avoid the same fate. He's the last chance we've got. And if he fails... No, Vegeta, you can't fail. Unless Goku reappears. All of our lives. This whole world depends on you.
the help of some powerful friend. The Return of Cooler. Tonight at 6. Hey, hey, the gang's all here. Why won't you die? Only to mommy.
back to Dragon Ball Z. He's crazy! This is it! <laughs> Big power. Generate himself after every attack. Darn him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just cause Vegeta more pain if you get involved. Listen, you need to take good care of your mother. Uh, take care of mom? But you can do that too, right? You can take care of mom too, can't you, Dad? Dad? Why would you say that? Why do you want me to take care of mom? Are you going somewhere? 
I want you two to leave and get far away from here. As for Boo, I'll fight him alone. Uh, don't do that! Goten's right! We'll fight with you! You don't want to get killed, do you? You've got to let us help you, Dad! Are you in? Yeah! See? We're with you! Stop it! It's too dangerous for you two. I will finish this by myself. Come on! It'll be easier to beat him with me and Trunks! We'll gang up on him! He, he won't know what hit him! Yeah! We're tough! We could even beat that big blob without your help, right Trunks? You bet! Might do better than you did! Oh! Trunks, you are my only son, and yet I haven't held you once since you were a baby, have I? Come here, son. Dad, what's wrong? Oh, this is embarrassing. Dad, come on. Cut it out. Trunks, there's something you must know. You've made me proud, my son. Uh, what did you do to him? Why'd you do that? What's wrong with you? Why did you do that to Trunks? Why did you do it? Tell me, why did you do that to Trunks? You're his dad. Dads aren't supposed to do bad things to their sons. Why did you hit him? Why did you hurt him like that? Why? Why? I think I understand. And one day, so will Trunks. as far away from here as possible. Go now, of course. It's time. Hurry! You'll die. You know that. There's one thing I'd like to know. Tell me, will I meet that clown Kakarot in the other world? I'm not going to lie to you, Vegeta, although the answer may be difficult for you to hear. This is the truth. 
Goku devoted his life to protecting the lives of others. Because of his selflessness, when he died, he was allowed to keep his body and travel to King Kai's planet. You, on the other hand, have spent your life in pursuit of your own selfish desires. You've caused too much pain. When you die, you will not receive the same reward. Oh well. So be it. That will be all. Get out of here, and hurry! Yes! That's right! Huh? Your fight is with me! The others are of no concern to you! Got it? You big bloated balloon freak! Oh, no! No, no, not you! Boo, angry! <laughs> you talk mean to Boo! You have to get away from here, right now! Yeah, right. Me make you hurt bad! <laughs> oh, get back right now! Me want fight! I think I finally understand you. Let's go! up to piccolo he's crazy he won't fake it that monster is gonna eat him alive for the first time vegeta is fighting for someone other than himself controlling his own fate <laughs> you are a fool! I am going to crush you and throw you into the wind! <laughs> Trunks, Bulma, I do this for you. And yes, even for you, Kakarot. greatest warriors has vanished in a blinding flash of light, having made the ultimate sacrifice for the sake of his loved ones. His name was Vegeta, a proud Saiyan prince.
producer Sidney Pollack tells in his own words why he loves these films. These are the movies worth your time because they've stood the test of time. TCM's The Essentials. Sunday nights at 6 p.m. Completely commercial free. Only on Turner Classic Movies. Saving the world I'm Junie. has oh. never been this much fun. I never even got the email address. Am I insane? Completely. Spy Kids 3D. Ready PG. Who is this? She's my, 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 I'm his girlfriend. At theaters everywhere. Now playing. Look what Pizza Hut's got for you now. The DVD is yours to keep when you buy a large Pizza Hut pizza at regular price. Choose from four comedy classics like All Dogs Go to Heaven 2 and Honeymoon in Vegas. Pizza Hut pizza and a DVD on us. You only get it when you gather around the good stuff. Beyblade, let it rip! Got what it takes to be a Beyblade master? Better new tops, better. new launchers. All the latest gear in stores better, now. Better, better, and you can better, check better, it all better. out at Beyblade.hasbro.com. Beyblade, let it rip! Each sold separately. Batteries not included. RC requires different frequencies. Ask permission to go online. Sonny's at the world's kookiest coaster. Oh, nothing's cookier than that! Oh, yeah? I bet you go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs with just one bite. You're wrong! <laughs> We're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs! When you pack your puffs with intense chocolatey flavor, you get a taste you can't help but go cuckoo for. That's the one and only Cocoa Puffs, a chocolatey part of a good breakfast. <laughs> one bite. Whoa! And you can go cuckoo too. Sketches in space. Did you know, if you get AOL, you can get this alert that tells you you have a phone call when you're online? No. Neither does Dad. <laughs> If you want to get your calls, you want to get AOL. Because AOL Call Alert tells you when you have a phone call when you're online. So you'll never miss another important call again. Sign up for AOL and get your first 45 days free with AOL Call Alert included for up to 12 months. This story is really about Piglet. It's an all-new adventure. What's that tiny pink dot? As Piglet finds that it doesn't take somebody big to do big things. <laughs> Piglet's Big Movie Rated G. Now on Disney DVD and Video. I'm so big! Let's go get him. Let's go. I'm on it. No one asked for more help. This whole trip might just prove the kids shouldn't eat nachos before bed. Peanut butter sandwiches. How did you... What? Do you go through my trash? Please. I go through everyone's trash. The Commodore Hotel. Something wrong? Gotta write up my fair report. So what do you think of that corporate prepackaged pop kids like these days? Hate it. <laughs> hey, I just said. <laughs> I never heard of Novogen or, or Halstrom until last night. This girl I've been seeing, she, she flipped it to me, said I, I could run with it. The girl. Tell me more. She's just a girl. Blonde hair, blue eyes, real farmer's daughter type. 
and a hand shaped like a vice. Yeah, really strong. How'd How you... long have you been seeing her? About a week. She had bad dreams. More like tossing and turning. Can't sleep at night. Oh, oh shit! What was that for? All that crazy mystery man mojo and you couldn't even pick up a clue without being seen? The key wasn't the clue. The key was mine. Now this list of container ship arrivals I palmed while they were yelling at you. That's the clue. If you knew all that, then you probably know what I'm going to do to Mandragora when I catch him. So why help me? That is the question. Mandragora never had any intention of cooperating with the prosecutors. He was just stalling until his son arrived. Their new identities were already in place. Not to mention a Cayman Island account full of ill-gotten games to finance their new lives. You knew all along that kid was going to be on that freighter. I do my homework. Then why go to all the trouble to help? Why risk your life for me? Because I... Thank you. Where are we going? Don't ask so many questions. I'm sorry, but... Ew. You really know how to show a girl a good time, Q. When are we going out on a real date? Trying to concentrate. I'm not even in the Justice League anymore. You're lucky to have me along. Hardly. You're drawn to my eccentric charm. Finished. Me too. Not quite. You get what you came for? I believe so. If there's a link between Luthor and Cadmus, I'll find it here. Which leaves the rest of our evening tantalizingly free. There are three terabytes of data here. I'll be busy for days. Oh, dinner and a movie? It's a start. Wait. Get this off my face. Aerosol in my coat pocket. You were right. I am the ugliest guy of all time. Not in my eyes. I'm telling you, Q, Canary's totally off her game. Think she's moonlighting? Maybe she's stepping out on Green Arrow. The deeper mystery here is, why do you even care? Isn't this the woman who beat the snot out of you a few months back? She got a lucky shot in. Okay, five or six lucky shots. Anyway, that's not the point. Aha! As I suspected, 32 flavors. There's something wrong here, Q. I can feel it. I'm the conspiracy theorist, and even I don't see anything. So, what are you wearing? Blue overcoat, fedora. You really stink at this. Orange socks. Luthor, what kind of game is this? Because so far, it's no fun. Bear with me, Toy Man. You get the hang of it. Toy Man. We should be reaching the Brainiac Remnant soon. By the way... Thank you for making me your navigator, Luthor. I always love learning a new controller. Just keep us on course. The slightest error and we're dead.
around the world. Rock the cradle. Sleeper. We're here. Luthor, the collection panels are in place. Hold that thought. Do it. I said do it! He cannot hear you, Lex Luthor. Time has stopped. Twinkle, twinkle, bring yak. Tab is gonna bring you back. to dominate robotic warfare. The secret organization, Black Ghost, has transformed these nine humans into cybernetic soldiers. The problem is, nobody asked them. We were kidnapped off the street so you could remodel us. There's no escape. Surrender to your fate. Cyborg 009, tonight at 6. How did I do all this? Being affluent ain't all that. Saving the world I'm Junie. has oh. never been this much fun. I never even got the email address. Am I insane? Completely. Spy Kids 3D. Ready PG. Who is this? She's my, 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 I'm his girlfriend. At theaters everywhere. Now play. Get your DNL! Get your DNL here! Hey, you got a permit for all this? Do I have a permit? I'm not real, you moron! I'm a myth! <laughs> DNL with a powerful boost of green from the makers of 7-Up. The wait for Applejack's news drags on. Go fish. It's here. All oh, right. God. Thanks to your help, Applejack's will now feature blue carrot pieces. Same Applejack's cake. Yep. Kellogg's Applejack cereal, part of a complete breakfast. Applejack's with blue carrots is life good or what? The newest white hot Reebok classic. Only a kid's foot locker. You game? In 1211, the Carpathian brothers took a vow of silence. Luckily, it only pertains to offline. Because right now, AOL members can get AOL for Broadband, the first online service specifically designed to maximize your high-speed connection for a great low price, now for a limited time. And when you can get streaming news and sports highlights and send instant messages with video, pictures, and songs, who needs talking? Call now to get the only high-speed online experience with all the power of the world's largest online community. With sessions at AOL, radio at AOL, and music at AOL. Plus AOL's powerful pop-up controls, latest generation parental controls, and a junk mail filter that helps you block unwanted email, report it, and helps filter it out altogether. AOL for broadband. Welcome to the World Wide. Hey there, you're watching Justice League. Up next, the finest action cartoon on the planet. Get ready for Dragon Ball Z. And later on, the robotic war has begun. Check out Cyborg 009. Pretty sweet. You tried to kill Aquaman. Why? Gee, why would a hired gun try to shoot somebody? Could it be that someone paid me to? Who? Oh, come on, babe. You know I can't tell you that professional ethics. But then again, <laughs> if you make it worth my while, I'll take it from here. You can't scare me, Batman. 
Let me give you one word of advice. Okay. I'll tell, I'll tell. What did he say? You don't want to know. Professor Ehrlich? Uh, no conferences without an appointment. Uh, see my secretary and... Ah! Oh! Tell me about Faust. Who are you? They call me Forager. Do you know someone named Orion? Orion? I am just an unworthy bug. Orion is a god who is far above us. You're too modest. You've shown courage, compassion... No, no, you don't understand. All the gods are far above us. I'm gonna need a longer grapple. Stay back! I'll take it from here. You don't have any powers. I have this. It's a package deal. You get our strengths. But you also get our weaknesses. You always carry kryptonite around with you? Call it insurance. And they say I'm scary. Gotta sleep sometime. Give me a triple. <gasps> now. Adrenaline rush wearing off? Good. The doctor will see you now. Sorry. I'm gonna have to cancel that appointment. Coming here was the mistake of your life. See, the closer I am to someone, the stronger I get. I'll be able to go into your brain, even if you're wide awake. My brain's not a nice place to be. What's that stupid song going through your mind? It's what's keeping you out, Johnny. She. It's Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman? Look, it's Wonder Woman. What is it like working with Superman? When you fought the aliens, were you scared? Um... Are you really from an island with no men? I... May I have this dance? Yes. Thank you, Mr... Wayne. Bruce Wayne. I appreciate the rescue. Excuse me. Air ten, it has stolen that. Think about it. A world where there's no crime, no victims, no pain, and no choice. Who elected you anyway? 
who elected you. The problem with democracy is, it doesn't keep you very safe. It has other virtues, but you seem to have forgotten them. I didn't forget. I just chose peace and security instead. You grabbed power, and with that power, we've made a world where no eight-year-old boy will ever lose his parents because of some punk with a gun. Where's the litter? If you want people to respect the big laws, you've got to enforce the small ones. What are you doing? The small laws, remember? I'm not paying for this. Bad food, lousy service, and then yet up the check wrong. Sir, you're disturbing the other customers. Look! Five and five make fifteen! Could you come with us, please? Get your hands off me! I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I'll pay it, whatever it is. And the food, it was good, really. They'd love it here, don't you think? Who? Mom and Dad. They'd be so proud of you. Just drive. What do you want? I bit off a little more than I could chew with Sinestro. You gotta give me some help here. Thought you didn't need any. Well, I do now. I'm at the old North Hill subway platform. Hurry! Looks like I didn't need you after all, yo. But you can help me tie him up. Catch. Ah! The real Flash would have been too fast for that. Gave me away. You overplayed your part, yo. I've got some things to say. I should have said them when you were here, but... Despite our differences, I have nothing but respect for you. I hope you knew... Know that. You showed me that justice doesn't always have to come from the darkness. I'll miss... What did you always call it, Clark? The never-ending battle? For the time being, we're gonna have to go underground. How exactly do we hide when the entire planet is looking for us? They're looking for the Justice League. Without our costumes, we are merely ordinary citizens. Hold on a second here. What about the whole secret identity thing? I mean, I trust you guys, but I'm not sure I'm ready to... Wally West, Clark Kent, Bruce Wayne. Show off. Red hair. It suits you. You think? Jane. Now. Okay, the watchtower's ours again. So where's your secret weapon? You're standing in it. Wait, you mean we're gonna... Take the watchtower out of orbit and drop it right on top of their little science project. Get them to the escape pods. Yeah, the tower's completely pest-free. Good. Hey! What are you doing? I can't risk having the watchtower burn up on re-entry. I'll have to guide it in manually. Gentlemen, it's been an honor. Which babies have the best adventures? Who's the world's most curious one-year-old? Who's coming to your hometown? That's right, the Rugrats! Yep, your favorite Nickelodeon characters are on tour and coming to you. It's your chance to meet Tommy, Chucky, or Angelica up close and personal, direct from Nickelodeon, the number one network for kids. Keep watching Nickelodeon for more Rugrats. Go, 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 Fox. Transformers, go, Fox. Aerobot, beast, by the speed, by go. They only change when you say so. Go, 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 Fox. Transformers, go, Fox.
milk? If you were born between 1918 and 1963, call now to get free information about the Silver Care Plan. The average funeral now costs over $6,000, but your survivors may only be able to receive government death benefits of up to $300, leaving your loved ones to pay the balance. You can protect your loved ones with the Silver Care Plan. It pays tax-free cash that can be used for final and any other expenses. The last thing I'd want to do is leave my wife or kids with bills. It's easy to get, and you don't even have to take a medical exam. In times like these, it's so important to plan ahead. With the Silver Care Plan, your rates will never increase, your plan cannot be canceled, and coverage starts as soon as you're accepted. By starting now, you can lock in the lowest rate possible. With the Silver Care Plan, I didn't have to worry about anything. You also get a free planning guide to carry out your wishes, so everything is done just as you'd want it to be. It's easy to use and easy to understand. It gives me peace of mind, knowing everything is taken care of and nothing is left to chance. The Silver Care Plan is something we'll all someday need. To get free information about the plan and its benefits, call the toll-free number on your screen. Call 1-800-441-2400. That's 1-800-441-2400. Call now. You must go now and find the Dragon Balls. In search of more Dragon Balls, the fight has moved to Namek. Ah! And a new enemy appears, even stronger than Vegeta. It's all over. Unbelievable! Huh? Let's go! Yeah! What the heck? Quit fooling yourself, my friend. You're no match for my speed. Dragon Ball Z, next. Uh -oh. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Right behind you. Ah! <laughs> well, you want to dance or fight? Ah! I think things are about to heat up big time. I imagined he would be. Quit fooling yourself, my friend. You're no match for my speed. Strap yourself in. You're in for one heck of a ride. <laughs> I'm warning you. Leave this planet now and don't ever come back. I don't want to fight you, but I will if I have to. And if it comes to that, I promise you that you'll both be joining your friend here on the ground. Understand me? <laughs> Boy, did you hear that, Berta? This guy gets him one lucky punch and he thinks he can take on the Ginyu Force. Yeah, Jace, I think he must have hit himself in the head pretty hard when he landed here. He caught Raccoon by surprise, that's all. That doesn't make him tough, just lucky. Right? Right. I'm surprised he got a punch in at all. This guy's power level is way too pathetic to be a challenge. <laughs> I guess he scared stiff. God 
Gotcha! I bet the poor guy's shaking in his boots! Jay, 
Do you hear me? Yeah, bird, I got you. I've got a new plan. Use the fire crusher ball, right? When you fire it, I'm sure he'll jump out of the way to evade it. That's your plan. I wasn't through. When he jumps, I'll sneak in and crush him from behind. He might be fast, but I'm the fastest warrior in the universe. Gotcha, mate. This is what you get for messing with the Ginyu. Crusher! <laughs> Guy is or where he came from, but he's good. 
Jeez, I've never seen anything like it, huh? We never even touched him. Now that's one bad dude. Uh, I'm bad. But man, I ain't that bad. Sometimes you gotta know when to go, go, go. Hey, he's running away. Gosh. He Who are you? My name is Goku and I'm a Saiyan. From Earth. Dragon Ball Z will return in a moment. In an effort to dominate robotic warfare, the secret organization, Black Ghost, has transformed these nine humans into cybernetic soldiers. The problem is, nobody asked them. We were kidnapped off the street so you could remodel us. There's no escape. Surrender to your fate. Cyborg 009, next. How did I do all this? Being happy with ain't all that. America's top spy is missing, but one agent is always on our case. Terrific. This summer, the adventure will reach out and grab you. Spy Kids 3D. Who is this? He's my, my, my friend. I'm his girlfriend. Rated PG. Here at the house, I keep the phones from all my ads. On this one, I made a great collect call. I just dialed in the center with 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -L -L it's free for you? Cheap for them. Of course, I did win an award. Best dialing. Save on every call. Dial 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. CIA. Whatever. And Hillary Duff in a special edition DVD loaded with hours of great stuff not seen in theaters. Agent Cody Banks. You can catch the adventure Tuesday. Rated PG. In 1211, the Carpathian brothers took a vow of silence. Luckily, it only pertains to offline. Because right now, AOL members can get AOL for Broadband, the first online service specifically designed to maximize your high-speed connection for a great low price, now for a limited time. And when you can get streaming news and sports highlights and send instant messages with video, pictures, and songs, who needs talking? Call now to get the only high-speed online experience with all the power of the world's largest online community. With sessions at AOL, radio at AOL, and music at AOL. Plus AOL's powerful pop-up controls, latest generation parental controls, and a junk mail filter that helps you block unwanted email, report it, and helps filter it out altogether. AOL for Broadband. Welcome to the World Wide. You're watching Dragon Ball Z, the finest action cartoon on the planet. Up next, Cyborg 009. And later on, the spirit detective is on the case. You do happy show. Dig in. He's obviously capable of bumping up his power level during combat. A shrewd warrior could tell that about him at a glance. By my estimation, I'd say this fella's true power level is somewhere in the neighborhood of 60,000. 60,000? But that's impossible. He's just a Saiyan. I've never known one of them to get even half that strong, sir. It's not unheard of. He's probably a naturally gifted fighter who had his abilities amplified by some mutation like us. In any case, this suddenly promises to be a very interesting fight. <laughs> Who'd have thought today'd be the day when Captain Ginyu got to showcase his true power? This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, yes, I can see it now. Captain Ginyu, protector of the weak and the helpless and the good. <laughs> Look, don't try to reform me. Just show me your perfect power. You betcha!
Oh no! That's only 3,000 away from Captain Genyu's maximum! Oh, a wise guy, huh? Now let's see here. No! It can't be! He's just cooling off, mate. He'll be back. Because the outcome is still going to be the same. Why me? Ah, I am the great Captain Ginyu. Remember who you are. All right. One way or the other, let's settle this right now. You're serious, aren't you? You'd let us go? We could leave just like that? Yeah, why not? You'll have to reap what you've sown. Wait a second. Something's not right here. He still has weaknesses, and I think I just figured out what this guy's greatest weakness is. I thought I was dealing with a lion here, but now I realize you're just a pussycat. <laughs> and I know you wouldn't even hurt a fly if you didn't have to. That's it, Captain. You're looking good, mate. I'd say you're back to a full ten on the style meter. That's us, the mighty Ginyu Force. For us, killing is just part of the job, but it's not like that for you. <laughs> I, I, I think he's laughing. Captain, C Captain Ginyu? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> I've never seen someone so cool in the line of fire. <laughs> I'm warning you to go home. <laughs> For a peace-loving do-gooder like yourself, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> it's time for the grand finale of grand finales. No one can survive the awesome power of the Genu Force. Hey, Jace! Yes, sir? The stronger this guy is, the better. I hear you land clear. <laughs> I said, where are we going? This way. Before you begin your pathetic struggle to survive, I should warn you, your chance of winning is non-existent. According to my readout, I may have underestimated your strength. But no matter, your power pales in comparison to what I have in store for you. Observe my left hand. So. Now that we've got the ground rules settled... I've had enough of you! Oh my, oh my. You still don't get it, do you? And like I said before, I'll only use my left hand. <laughs> That has got to hurt. <laughs> Here, you might want to keep it as a back scratcher. <laughs> Enough idle chit chat. I should really get back to Guru and see if he's changed his mind about that password. <laughs> that didn't show up in the readout. 
I'll just have to make a copy of that power because you never know when it might come in handy. <laughs> Most of the warriors I know would have surrendered by now, but... Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> ah, why can't this thing go any faster? And just my luck, Dino here isn't even breaking a sweat. Oh. Somebody a hand, and this is the thing you get. Him full well, of you oh, okay. finally shows up. Last time I saw you two. Was Come on, it's not like we were avoiding you. Look, we were just busy. That's all. Why you? You don't even have the Dragon Balls. Not to mention, I ran out of lip gloss a month ago, and you come back empty-handed. Huh? We, we are sorry. Krillin, I found it. They're over in that direction. Let's go. Wait! Don't worry, we'll be back in no time. Just go back to the campsite and we'll meet you there, okay? What? Come back here! What do you expect me just to walk to the campsite? Gohan, we better get going. Gotcha. Guys, it's time to reveal the ultimate strength of the Ginyu Force. <laughs> Watch. Wow, what's he doing? That's it, mate. Good work. Now let's pull it together, and it's done. Shot, crazy cook. to metamorph into your body and fool your men. Oh, no, it can't be. I'm sure Frieza will be glad to hear that I've defeated Goku. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, this new body is pretty quick. Hey, wait. Uh, the pain's too strong and I don't think I could go on. Not by a long shot. Count on it, can you? It's not over. Looks like Freeze is out on the town. Uh, what the? What was that explosion? It can't be. Dragon Balls.
Where are they? I want an answer right now. Don't tell me that you're afraid of me. <laughs> now to find out where those dragon balls are. Gotta give Frieza more credit than that. I'll just take my time and look around. <laughs> So fun, AJs! And now, I have an unbelievable amount of power! Where am I? I gotta get my bearings. Oh, nuts. I just can't get the hang of this bulky body. Krillin, the Dragon Balls are at 12 o'clock. I'm locked on and ready to kick butt. I believe I have company. Yes, I think I'll just observe them for a little while more. Wait a sec, Krillin, will ya? No. The balls are down there, all right, but they're not. No, 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 no! We have all seven Dragon Balls. Well, what now? Huh? Krillin, I think I hear someone coming. What? Oh, great! This just isn't my day. Uh, I know what happened between them and Goku. Come on, Gohan. I think you may be right about those Ginyu guys. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you were that Captain Ginyu coming. But you must have taken care of him, right? A dragon raid, huh? What the heck is that? Uh, hey, do you know what it is, Goku? Maybe. Why don't I try? Goku? Are you sure you're feeling all right? Uh -huh. Hey, Krillin! That guy isn't my father! Huh? Huh? <laughs> 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 Where's the challenge? I could easily dispose of both of you in an instant. He's not my dad. Believe me. You gotta trust me. When I look in his eyes, I can just tell. <laughs> Very perceptive, kid. Uh, what did you say? That voice. It's Captain Ginyu. It's time to face the fury of the Ginyu Force. I'm Jace. <laughs> The new and improved Captain Ginyu. Huh? But with this body... And I'll never forgive myself if anything happens to go on. No! <laughs> please, wait a minute! Can't we maybe discuss this like gentlemen? <laughs> Even with Captain Ginyu inside Goku's body... Have it fun yet? <laughs> Captain Ginyu! Incoming at three o'clock high, sir! Huh? Uh, now what? Krillin! Gohan! Be careful! Captain Ginyu has taken over my body! Uh, no! I can't bear to see you this way, Daddy! Be brave, Gohan! I gotta agree with Baldy here. I estimate my new body and my strength at 180,000. What you think, Captain Cocky? I understand that body you're in. But the first rule is never kid a kidder. Right, Jace? Yeah! <laughs> Krillin, Gohan, and Goku even stand a chance. <laughs> well, do you want a chance? A fight! That's it for Dragon Ball Z. Cyborg 009 is next. In video, she was the daughter he never knew. A piece of paper doesn't prove anything. She has my eyes. And the girl <laughs> who would turn his life around. Amanda Bynes, Colin Firth, What a Girl Wants. Buy it Tuesday on DVD and Video. Beyblade, let it rip!
Got what it takes to be a Beyblade master? Better new better. tops, new launchers. All the latest gear in stores better now. Better, better, and you better, can check better, it all better. out at Beyblade.hasbro.com. Beyblade, let it rip. Each sold separately, batteries not included. RC requires different frequencies. Ask permission to go online. Watch this. Does he do any tricks? <laughs> <laughs> Through the explosion of a zillion sweet pieces. <laughs> Marty, my pebbles! It's a dog on shame. Post Fruity Pebble Cereal, part of a good breakfast. New on Disney DVD, some of your favorite friends are back in a movie so big, it's an eyeful. Good one, Piglet! That's funny. Piglet's big movie, rated G. The big adventure has landed on Disney DVD and video. Chuck E. Cheese is here with news, more fun for you. Any game or ride is now one token. You can win more tickets and choose from more prizes. Now that's more fun. Chuck E. Cheese's, the even more real cool place to be a kid. Saving the world. I'm Junie. Has never been this much fun. Never even got the email address. Am I insane? Completely. Spy Kids 3D, rated PG. Who is this? She's my, 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 I'm his girlfriend. At theaters everywhere. Now play. In 1211, the Carpathian brothers took a vow of silence. Luckily, it only pertains to offline. Because right now, AOL members can get AOL for Broadband, the first online service specifically designed to maximize your high-speed connection for a great low price, now for a limited time. And when you can get streaming news and sports highlights and send instant messages with video, pictures, and songs, who needs talking? Call now to get the only high-speed online experience with all the power of the world's largest online community. With sessions at AOL, radio at AOL, and music at AOL. Plus AOL's powerful pop-up controls, latest generation parental controls, and a junk mail filter that helps you block unwanted email, report it, and helps filter it out altogether. AOL for broadband. Welcome to the worldwide. This August on Summer Fridays. We've got all new episodes of the grim adventures of Billy and Mandy. And all new episodes of Evil Con Carne. What the heck is that? Plus, the return of an old favorite in a brand new show, Duck Dodgers. Find your center, honey baked. See what's new this August on Summer Fridays. Fridays at 7, only on Cartoon Network. Hey. Hey guys. Why did the Black Ghost Organization make us into cyborgs? They just wanted to develop more advanced high performance weapons. Whether we like it or not, that's what we are. Accelerate! Go ahead. He's much more powerful than any of us. Destroy them! Every one of them! See what happens when you think you can challenge Black Ghost's evil forces? Was that a horrible nightmare? Where did this hunk of iron come from? What is this thing? It's very weird. 
You don't think Black Ghost is behind it? I doubt it. It sounds more like someone's joking around. <sighs> or maybe aliens. I wouldn't be surprised. But let's not worry about it. We're on vacation. <laughs> I guess. We've been out here for quite a while. What do you think? Should we head back in? I suppose we could go. The problem is we don't have enough fish for everyone's dinner yet. It's okay. I'll just eat salad and potatoes. I don't think we should keep them waiting. They get crabby when they're hungry. Huh? Huh? What's happening? This is weird! Was it a tornado? Something came out of the sky and fell on our camp. Let's go! <laughs> Are you two okay? Yeah. Did you see what it was? We didn't get a clear view. Can you sense anything? Not yet. Well, we'd better check it out. Now! This is ridiculous. Can't we have a normal vacation like everyone else? Next time, let's go to Hawaii. What's this? Some kind of ship? Uh, I'm picking up on something. There are people over there. What? In the corner, over there. I wonder why they don't say anything. Well, maybe they're afraid of us. No, that's not it. In fact, little by little, they've been communicating with me telepathically. Huh? The girl's name is Lilo, the boy is called Mel, and the baby's name is Falulu. Hmm. So that's why they don't talk. How very fascinating. We'll need some information if we're going to deal with them. Zero, zero, 001, ask where they came from and why they're here. Mm-hmm. They've answered me. They say they're escaping from their own world. Escaping from what? From invaders who want to enslave them. They came here in a transportation device. That must be the object we... Because they'd be endangering their lives. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. If these advanced beings use their powers to kill another living thing, the energy they put out gets turned back on them, destroying their own life force. If they kill another being, they kill themselves. Unbelievable. They come from a peaceful place where violence is virtually unknown. Hmm. The mosquitoes here in Brazil are as big as dragonflies. Are we almost there? 30 degrees, 19 minutes south. We should be there any minute. I just wish Professor Gilmore's instructions weren't so vague. What are we supposed to be looking for, exactly? He talked about... No! Oh! There goes my profile! Come look. Huh? Look at what? It's just a waterfall. Down there. I see some children on a rock. Well, maybe they live here in the neighborhood. Maybe, but how did they get down there? That's a really good question. Let me go ask them. Just don't freak them out. Hey, who are you guys? And how did you make it down here to the bottom? <gasps> What's this? So, you're just visiting. Am I right? According to Professor Gilmore's coordinates, I should be pretty close.
They sense an evil presence. Their enemy must be close by. Are we in danger? Dr. Gilmore! There's an emergency call from 008! <laughs> what is it? A giant mass of energy? Yes, and he reports there are no children in the area. Tell him that I'm on my way to assist him. All right, you guys, tell us where you're from. I mean, at least tell us your names. <laughs> they talk even less than you. What's the matter? Doesn't your mouth work? Huh? Huh? You've got a leech on your face. That must have hurt. What's the matter? Why didn't you say anything? Hold on, everyone. Let me check out this bridge to see if it's strong enough to hold us before we try and cross. I told you to wait. You're lucky the water isn't any deeper or you would have drowned. What's that? Those are piranhas down there. I'm going in. Don't move, guys. If these beings are supposed to be so powerful, this makes no sense. None of this makes sense. What's your point? Why didn't they use their powers to kill the piranhas? Hmm. Maybe they were like a deer in headlights and froze up. Huh? Hmm? We're very scared. Hmm? Sorry, I got delayed getting here. Don't be sorry, you saved my life. Let's blast it! No, wait, I tried that. When you shoot it, the energy bounces back. It's that strong? Yes, it is. Zero, zero, one. The mass is wrapped in some kind of space warping barrier. Your weapons can't penetrate it. Then how are we supposed to attack it? I have an idea. I'll create a hole in the barrier with my powers. Then, use your accelerator, go in, and blow it to pieces. All right. But it's gonna be hard to pull this off alone. The thing looks pretty powerful, and you're gonna need some extra firepower. How about asking Mel and the other children to help you? That thought did occur to me, but they can't do it. Why not? It doesn't matter if they're the attacking force or just assisting someone else. If they use their powers to kill, they risk destroying themselves. <sighs> All right, then. There's no choice. We'll have to do this by ourselves. If we fail, that mass will try to destroy us. 008, you have no defense. You should go back to the Dolphin. How frustrating. I wish I had your accelerator powers. All right, good luck, 009. <sighs> Is the mass the invader? No, I think it's a weapon controlled by the invaders. While pursuing our visitors, it must have gotten caught in the warp and entered our world. Stand by, 009. Now! Right! Acceleration mode! Cyborgs. 
0-9-0-0-9. We'll return in a moment. On the road of life, second chances are rare. Watch out, kid! But for Yusuke Yurameshi, fate has intervened. This is weird. You have all that's required to be detective of the spirit world. That's a fancy title. Between the world of the living and the realm of the dead, he is both champion and protector. <laughs> Yu Yu Hakusho, next. Shut up! The Spy Kids are back. We can't beat you. On their final mission. I know. You have to go through me first. I'm a sister. This summer. Junie, who is this? She's my, my, my friend. I'm his girlfriend. This is new. Saving the world. That's against the rules. Has never been this much fun. You are programmers? Let's see what you really look like. Computer nerds. Spy Kids 3D. Am I insane? Completely. Ready PG. Now play. What you seeing didn't start with LL today. Take it from me, Run DMC paved the way with Jam Master J, uh, the K I N G's. <laughs> Run D and Dr Pepper, that's originality. The taste of Dr Pepper, Dr Pepper. The taste of originality. Salutes individuality. Individual. Gives life, personality. Be you, do what you do. Be you, be you, nothing better than Dr Pepper. <laughs> Run DMC and Jam, Dr Pepper. An ancient medallion with extraordinary powers has been stolen. Destiny calls. Now, getting it back means using every move he's got and some. Sorry. He didn't even know he had. <laughs> Jackie Chan. The Medallion. Rated PG-13. In theaters everywhere, August 22nd. You squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze, but all your scissors do is freeze. Not anymore. Introducing cordless smart scissors by Singer. The fast, easy, and pain-free way to cut almost anything. Smart scissors are lightweight, fit comfortably in your right or left hand, and power through the thickest task with ease. Quickly cut stacks of coupons. Easily glide through two layers of tough denim. Or follow a curved pattern with precision and speed. Slide the safety switch on and two sharp stainless steel blades automatically cut at super high speeds. Plus, they can be powered by your AC outlets. Call now and receive your cordless smart scissors by Singer for just $19.95. We'll also include this Singer fabric shaver free. And we'll give you a second smart scissors to share with your family absolutely free. If you're not satisfied, return it for a full refund of the purchase price. But keep the fabric shaver as our gift. You get it all for $19.95. Call now. Order the Singer Smart Scissors for just $19.95. This incredible offer won't last, so call now, 1-800-592-3388. Hey there, Cyborg 009 is almost done. Up next, the Spirit Detective is on the case. Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh, I've never seen anything so impressive in my life. After that, quitting time. <laughs> The dolphins arrived. About time, I was starting to get worried. Everybody ready? Let's move out. Hmm? Something the matter, 002? No, not really. I'm fine. Let's get out of here. Good job, you guys. So are we the last ones to get picked up? 009, did you see what I saw? Mm-hmm. Anyway, this little boy's name is Pal, and his friend there goes by the name of Alo. 002, how did you know the name of your friend there? Hmm? I guess he told me. He spoke to him? You mean words? He actually said something? Yeah. What's the big deal? Our enemy has followed us 
Once more. How many are there? Only one. It has now warped into our atmosphere. Zero, zero, 003, get on the computer and locate the point where the space warp just happened. Yes, sir. It's in C District, Sector 55. It seems to be heading toward the city. Oh, my word. <laughs> Find a way to stop it, and quick! reversing impossible are you saying this weapon has the ability to manipulate time and space this can't be real they are destroying everything and reversing the effect our visitors are telling me that the invaders are simply playing a game what do you mean, a game? The creation of all this death and destruction is quite amusing to them. Horrible. So they're replaying it. Just for a laugh. Those humans? And those buildings are all being destroyed just for fun? Zero, zero, 009, these children have strong powers. We should be utilizing them. They could be just the edge we need to beat those invaders. Forget it. Come on, pal, do it for me. Just this one time, what do you say? Hey, what's the big deal? Why won't you do it? Zero, zero, 009, we have to try the same strategy that we used before. Mm-hmm. there in the smoke. So try to slip in nice and close. You guys have to help. We're fighting for you. You guys are the ones who drew these cold-blooded invaders into our world, and you are the ones who can get rid of them. Now stand up for yourselves and fight! I went shopping downtown today, and I noticed that the stores are completely sold out of white lab coats again. I mean, how many outfits does Dexter need? Dexter's Lab is next. This is Cartoon Network.
Series Speedway roars into action this weekend. Friday and Saturday will showcase some of the best short track racing in the country. There's something for everyone at Lake Erie Speedway between Interstate 86 and Interstate 90 on Route 89. Get your tickets today. Take it from Kyle Petty. So get out to Lake Erie Speedway this weekend. Saving the world I'm Juni. has Whoa. never been this much fun. I never even got the email address. Am I insane? Completely. Spy Kids 3D. Ready PG. Who is this? She's my, 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 I'm his girlfriend. At theaters everywhere. Now playing. <laughs> Listen to the Eddy. Kellogg's Pop Tarts. You can freeze them, then eat them. Now available in the Hot Fudge Sunday. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Eggo chocolate chip waffles. <laughs> A warm chocolatey part of this good breakfast. Look at Eggo! Eggo minis. A fun bite-sized part of this good breakfast. In 1211, the Carpathian brothers took a vow of silence. Luckily, it only pertains to offline. Because right now, AOL members can get AOL for Broadband, the first online service specifically designed to maximize your high-speed connection for a great low price, now for a limited time. And when you can get streaming news and sports highlights and send instant messages with video, pictures, and songs, who needs talking? Call now to get the only high-speed online experience with all the power of the world's largest online community. With sessions at AOL, radio at AOL, and music at AOL. Plus AOL's powerful pop-up controls, latest generation parental controls, and a junk mail filter that helps you block unwanted email, report it, and helps filter it out altogether. AOL for broadband. Welcome to the worldwide. Here they come. Caribbean, rated PG-13, now playing. The time has come for a new evil. An evil so destructive that the world will bow to Hector Concarne. There will be robots. It's so evil. Radioactive goo. Absolutely evil. Telemarketing call. Positively evil. It is quite evil, isn't it? Oh, horribly evil. You're just saying that. No, no, it's true. A new episode of Evil Con Carne, tonight at 9.30 on Cartoon Network. has been given his next case. Enter the mountain stronghold of human crime lord Gonzu Turukane and rescue the kidnapped Yukina, an ice apparition who is in fact Hiei's sister. Yusuke, Kuwabara, and Botan started their mountain trek, quickly butting heads with the first line of defense. Demon guards under the leadership of the Fear Toguro brothers. Kind of stupid to have a mountain trail that ends halfway up the mountain, huh? I guess they don't encourage much camping around here.
Yes, the stronghold is very well hidden. But we should be able to find it eventually by following Yukina's energy. Uh, why are you still using that compass? Just follow my way. The red pinky string. Uh, the what? The moment I saw her, my love stretched out and tied us together. <laughs> you see? Let's follow the thread of destiny tied to my love. <laughs> This is unexpected. Huh? Speak up, boy! Hiru, who I sent to deal with the trespassers, is dead. Huh? Hey! What kind of people are you sending out there? Bones off the street? I assure you my men are well picked. Whoever has defeated Hiru must have unusual powers. Well, unusual powers is what I'm paying you for! Don't expect me to hand out the cash if you can't handle the job! You needn't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said that, but I'm not the kind of guy who gets satisfied up cheap talk. Oh? What do you suggest? Come with me. You can prove your stuff. Triple our security outside. Of course. The Taguro brothers? This is gonna be messy. Oh yeah, I think I've heard of them. Aren't they on the most wanted list? This figures. I thought watching here was bad enough. But now I can't even find them, and the Tagoros have shown up too! <laughs> well, Tarukane, your tastes are unique. <laughs> Discovering new demons has been quite a pleasure. It gives me plenty of new things to spend my money on. Genetic engineering. We were trying to make her into a weapon. But they could never control the gal, so I got her at a pretty good deal. <laughs> I want you to kill her barehanded. <laughs> Surely he could beat those intruders, but he won't take on that beast. Giving me an excuse to drive down his price. I don't feel like killing her. <laughs> oh, I love a winning gamble, especially when I bluff. Huh? Uh, hey! Of course, with my job, I do many things I do not enjoy. What are you doing? Are you stinking crazy? Who's gonna make you gain a crimey more jewels after Helen rips you apart? I didn't mean for you to go in there for real! Then, you shouldn't have asked. 30% of my strength? Yes, that should be more than enough for her. What? Blinder is he getting bigger? I'm a very untalented apparition. The only thing I can do is change the size of my muscles. Hey, don't blame me. Blame the science that created you, the human that made me. Not even the best of contracts justifies killing as cruelly as I have just done. I apologize to this creature. <laughs> get alone! I love this guy! Seriously, Taguro, now let me get this straight. You saying you only use 30% of your whole strength to do her in? <laughs> yeah, 20% probably would have done a cleaner job. But I do tend to get carried away. 
Sakashta, get your rear to the telephone! Uh, sir, I've already notified the black market. That's not what I mean, Dimwit! Call the boys from the Black Black Club together. I see, sir. You wish to place a wager. Think about it. I got the fight of the century in my own backyard. The Taguro Brothers Gang versus the Mysterious Intruders. And since I'm the only one here who knows Taguro's true powers, I'll be at a real hustling advantage. <laughs> I'll bet the Broad's Jewels against my pals at the Black Black Club and double my fortune. Please go. They're only going to kill you. <gasps> Please! Get away! Get away! Go! Please. Sweet birds, you can't come near me. No one can come near me anymore. Eugene! Way cool, Bara, it's this way. Yeah, but I just get a really bad feeling. Let's go around. My compass says follow the path. We don't have time for detours. Photon! <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> Uh. Ah! Nice catch. Ooh, it's a spider this time. Hey, let her go! Go? Now why would I let her go if I'm planning to drink her blood? Ah. If you want to save her, you have to come up and fight me in the evil spider's lair. <laughs> <laughs> of your plan, but nobody's getting between you, Tina, and me! You can't possibly be human! Yep. We just happen to be really, really tough. Pardon me if I make this quick. <laughs> Thanks. If this detective thing doesn't work, maybe I can try exterminating. Ha ha ha! It's getting dark, sir. How is it going? It's going. You locate EA yet? No. I'm afraid he never came back. Well, it was just a matter of time before he found out about the mission, I guess. Uh, do you mind if I ask a question about that, sir? Well, why does he, a sister, being kidnapped have to be a secret from him? I mean, doesn't he deserve to know? Moron! What he ain't knows, he'll barge into the compound, slashing his sword at everyone in sight. He'll no doubt feel the need to execute everyone, including the servants and the family dog. Oh. The family dog will indeed be unfortunate, but the humans... Well, it's a serious crime for demons to take human life, no matter what the circumstances. You know that. It's best not to worry. Even if Hiei is heading for the compound, I'm confident he will work with Yusuke. I'm surprised you're so calm, Kurama. Since if Hiei does harm, you'll be punished with him. <laughs> well, you'd better come tuck me in. We'll record the rest on tape. Yes, sir. With you. You're messy, are you serious? She's a fighter and she's trying to get in our you way. You have show will return in a moment. A once legendary killer has taken an oath to protect the innocent and never kill again. But old memories seldom fade, and bad habits die hard. Romy Kenshin, coming up next, only to Lonnie.
mud rats meet the wild thornberries. Go wild. Blood Rats Go Wild, featuring the voice of Bruce Willis as Spike. Give me some love, in the PG, now playing only in theaters. What's it like to crunch a two with twigs? Creamy, creamy, chewy, crunchy, crunchy, cookie, cookie. Crunchy. Twigs. It's all in the mix. You better jump back. It's a shark attack. You get attacked, man. New Super Swimmer Shark Man with Squirting Glove. Available at all major toy stores. Always swim with adults present. This sure having fun. Uh -huh. Really cool fun. Uh -huh. Don't get it. How's a mouse get all the love? I thought we were man's best friend. When it comes to fun, there's only one Chuck E. Cheese's. Great, rub it in. Rated everyone. You can buy Disney Pixar's Finding Nemo video game and get a free kids pass for six fifty off any adult ticket for the Finding Nemo movie. While supplies last. I can't swim. Just stand off. They travel in packs. They're playful. And when they get out, they go fast. Watch out! New Lifesavers Minis in Mixed Fruit and Peppermint. The next big thing from Lifesavers. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Tastes like cotton candy. Sweet. You never know what DQ's gonna hit you with next. This time it's the cotton candy blizzard. Loaded with the sweet sensation of cotton candy, this DQ blizzard will spin your taste buds into a carnival. The new cotton candy blizzard. Do one and DQ something different. Don't touch the needle. You might scratch the rest. Don't, don't touch the needle. Hey, make it too much hip movement is in incorrect and unappealing. Make it you know what they say about, about too much dancing. Change can be a dangerous thing. Change, change. Remix the rules, remix the flavor. New Tropical Sprite Remix. Remix. Welcome back. You're currently watching The Spirit Detective at work on Yu Yu Hakusho. Up next, walk the straight and narrow with Roni Kenshin. Ah! Time to get back to the real reason we're all here. The action, only Tsunami. of the Black Black Club have been notified of the meeting, sir. Black Black Club, a secret society handpicked by Gonzu Turukane, known for their wickedness and influence in the criminal underworld. How you doing, boys? Must admit I am surprised to see all five of you on such short notice. I, Bavan, would meet even on my deathbed. <laughs> well said. This is our only means of entertainment. Yeah, the world's gotten too clean to have fun anywhere else. Well, fun, gentlemen, is exactly why I called you today. Let me cut to the bone here. As we speak, intruders are heading towards my house. So, let's start a betting pool on if they make it. Or if my security beats them. Well, that would hardly be a challenging proposition, Tarukane. 
We have no reason to believe that these intruders could survive your demon. Wait, let me give out more information before you decide. Hit it. The situation is really quite simple, sirs. There are three intruders. They are walking through the forest toward our stronghold. Twelve from the apparition gang are leading to stop. Come now, they're children. I don't know why you're so anxious to give away money, Torukane. Offering a gambling pool as the odds are so ridiculously stacked. Have you gone mad? Let's get on with the bidding. You've got two choices. Pick either the demons or the intruders to win. Sakashta will show you the stakes. In the event of a win, Mr. Tarukine will pay double what you bid. 200 million on the demons. Same here, 200 mil on the demons. Yeah, yeah, same for me. News has been circulating recently about two human boys with extraordinary spirit energy. It is said that they have defeated the four same beasts, as well as the human hunter Rando, extremely powerful demons. There is a very good chance these intruders are those boys. And if they are, the first group of fighters in my apparition gang will suffer most unpleasantly. <laughs> I'm going to make a fortune. You're the only one who hasn't bet, Sakyo. Tell me you're not getting cold feet. I will wager five billion on the intruder's victory. <gasps> That's absurd. Yes, absurd. A trio of human misfits can't take on 12 different demons. In normal circumstances, no, but I have a certain little hunch. Sweet mother, where did he get that kind of information? I'll just have to hustle him better in the next round. Hmm? Uh, what's the matter? Very strange. Six of my fighter's spirit energies have disappeared all at once. What? They're even more impressive than I thought. Uh. Piece of cake. Why are they even bothering with all these whips? They're desperate. We're very close to Yukina. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, what in the world are you tying to your head? The great fighting headband of love. Right. And all those guys there hate love. They want to try and keep me from my Yukina! You're not gonna be the only hero! Giving me the bigger target, oh thanks! Two times five billion is ten billion, right? There's the stronghold! It's the same as the video. Yukina must be in that tower. Hold on, my darling! Your brave man is coming! Take care of him. The compass is getting interference from three very strong demons. Don't let him rush in blindly. I'll go airborne and try to sneak a peek. Uh. Don't worry about me! What do you think? Photon says it's gonna be three nasty demons against little old us. It sounds good to me. This mission's felt different from the very start. It's like I've become invincible. <laughs> well, let's go. Fastest money I've ever lost. Very impressive. Obviously, the members of the Apparition Gang are not as frightening as I've been told. <laughs> Don't dump your stocks just yet, old boy. The next group of demons are on a whole different level. They call themselves the Triad. Demon 1, Miyuki. Demon 2, Imaki. Demon 3, Goku Monkey. The Triad? Word is they're the toughest set of demons in the whole apparition gang. You must be forking over a lot of money for those kind of names. You'll be in a real bind if those Hiroseki stones don't come through. <sighs> Let's move on. Your second bet, the intruders or the demon triad? 500 million on the triad. Yes, give me 300 mil on them. 
Me too. Yeah, same for me. Twenty billion on the intruders this time. <gasps> what? Twenty billion on those humans? Yeah, that's Sakyo for you. Doesn't know where the quit. Obviously, that man is not thinking with his brain. No one's asking for your opinion, bro. Just go do your stuff. We'll take care of them. What a waste of a gorgeous home. Ah! Uh. Uh, what's going on? Sounds like a freaking war zone. Don't be alarmed, boys. Those poor intruders must have met up with my landmines. Yusuke! Kumabara! My name is Miyuki. How'd you like a fight? The boys have barged into Tarukane's stronghold, but can they defeat the Demon Triad, the Taguro brothers, Tarukane, and save Yukina? Don't let that glossy purple lipstick fool you. This girl isn't out for a good time. Unless, of course, it includes stringing me up and swinging me around like I'm a giant used cape pinata. And Kuwabara keeps yelling, Don't eat girls! But even if I do find a way to take her down, she's only the first of the demon triad. We still have two more powerful demons to face. It's buy one battle and get two free on the next jam-packed episode of Yu Yu Hakusho! This hot? This early? 98. Ugh. What are we gonna do about this? Get real relief this summer. Call Sears, America's cooling specialist. Now Sears carries Carrier, a world leader in cooling and heating systems. Get 0% financing for one year when you use your Sears card. Sears offers Energy Star options that can save you up to 20% in annual cooling costs, unbeatable pricing, and fast emergency installation with year-round maintenance and repair. 
Carrier Innovation, Kenmore Quality, Satisfaction Guaranteed. Call for a free in-home estimate and get 0% financing for one year when you use your Sears card. Air conditioning. <laughs> There's only one place to get Carrier in Kenmore. Sears. Good life, great price. Looking for action? Yeah! Looking for laughs? Ow! Looking for adventure? Yeah! DreamWorks Pictures presents an incredible journey to the ends of the earth. Pay up, flat, sin bag. Rated PG. Starts July 2nd everywhere. A day at the beach in a diaper is no day at the beach. Huggies Little Swimmers Disposable Swim Pants. They don't swell up like diapers. Little Swimmers for girls and boys. Little Swimmers make the water big fun. They travel in packs, they're playful, and when they get out, they go fast. Watch out! New Lifesavers Minis in Mixed Fruit and Peppermint, the next big thing from Lifesavers. Popsicle Minis Ice Cream Pops, the little snack that's big on flavor. One more time, one more time. <laughs> Popsicle Minis Ice Cream Pops. Now that's cool. The calcium and milk helps you grow. Action figures have arrived. Summon the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, or even the unstoppable force of Exodia, the Forbidden One. Exodia, obliterate! And now you can also build the excitement with the new Yu-Gi-Oh! model kits. Will you put your skills to the test and have enough to conquer the Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon? Yu-Gi-Oh! Deluxe Action Figures and Model Kits, each sold separately. You put them together. When the Rugrats meet the Wild Thornberries, one dog will never be the same. You talking to me? Rugrats Go Wild, featuring the voice of Bruce Willis as Spike. Who's up for a tongue bath? Thank you. PG, now playing only in theaters. apparition Yukina, Hiei's sister, is still imprisoned in the mountain stronghold of Gonzu Turukane. But Yusuke and Kuwabara have quickly cut through a small army of twisted demons and have reached the compound's front gate. Now they must face opposition far above what they have seen. Three demons notorious in the criminal underworld, known as the Triad.
Which of you strapping lads will I have the pleasure of fighting first? No way! You are a girl! We can't fight girls, it's against my code! Come on, you're messy, let's just walk past her. Oh, a gentleman. A pawn of insecure males seeking to own their women. Whoa, whoa, I don't know anything about that, okay? Guys just don't fight girls! I'll <laughs> fight with you. You're messy, are you serious? She's a fighter and she's trying to get in our way. I don't care if she's a girl or a baby or somebody's grandmother. I'll still knock her out. Oh, I love your style. It's an equal playing field and anything goes. But let me check first to make sure. You pervert! What was that? Now I know. Hey, uh, I don't get it. What just happened? Hey! Lady! You've got no chance of winning this fight! Oh, shut up! You never would have done that if I were a man! What does she mean by that? I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure he grabbed Miyuki's, uh, uh, Well, it serves you right to get choked here, Messi. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. Maybe he should try apologizing to her. Oh, be quiet. <laughs> What a broad! If you wanted to hang out together, you should have just asked! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> hey, where are you going? Let's hang out! How can you keep hitting a girl like that? I mean you even hit her in the tatas! Give me a break. You want me just to stand still while she reams me? I don't know. All I'm saying is that boys aren't allowed to hit girls. We're both fighters. Why the hell does it make a difference? Uh. <laughs> you yell way too much. Okay, that's it. You and me gotta duke it out right now so I don't get nauseous. Even if she was attacking you, you don't have to knock her head through a wall, you bully! Fine. I wasn't gonna tell you this because I still don't think it matters, but look closely. Uh. Huh? Huh? It turns out our missus is a mister. <laughs> oh. But how did you... No. Well, I really couldn't help but notice. Wait a sec. Okay, I admit it. I was curious. Things didn't seem right up top. And, well, you know... The family jewels have not been stolen. So, so fighting girls actually does bother you, but you gave her a checkup instead of attacking her. You're kind of a weird person, aren't you? You think I'm a freak, don't you? That's why you're attacking so violently. What, you're afraid I'll rub off on you? Why can't you treat me as an equal? Shut up! <laughs> if you're gonna be a man, do it all the way, not halfway! <laughs> I'm fighting you because you won't let us save that girl. It's got nothing to do with anything except for me kicking your ass. <laughs> You positive about this, Yurameshi? She looks so... I mean, she looks so, uh, pretty. <laughs> I mean, are you sure that she's, uh... <laughs> uh you you uh, sure? Uh, <laughs> hey, look, a camera. Two more and we're coming after you. <laughs> <sighs> Must be rather embarrassing.
blessing for you. Now, Fosworthy beats again. I bet 500 million on the demon. Yes, so did I. You know, if everyone bet on the demons, Darukane might make money. Well, the four of us did. That's good for him. But I bet 20 billion on the intruders. <laughs> I'd expect you to be more pale, Darukane. These intruders seem to be eradicating all of your defenses. And at the double stakes, you will owe Sakyo over 40 billion he bets. He's got a good point. Maybe you should grab those Hiroseki stones and get off the mountain while you still can. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. The real game is just beginning. Ooh! A sugar-coated strawberry rice cake. My servant must have stood in line for a week to get this. Hmm, you just can't beat royal treatment. Aren't you gonna at least take out your pacifier first, sir? Uh, what's it to you, blue boy? Oh, it's a nothing, sir. I just think if I got to eat so much good food like you, I'd appreciate it more. Really? Well, then perhaps you'd like to make a little wager with me. Who prevails? Use K's team or the triad? The winner takes the cake. Oh, thank you, sir. That's so very gracious of you. Now, let me see. I think I'll bet on Yusuke's team to win. Nope, can't do that. I've already decided that I will bet on Yusuke. I will. I will. No, I will. I will. <laughs> Rock, Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about what you did back there, Yurameshi. <laughs> You know, I mean, the way you checked to see if Miyuki was a boy, what would you have done if it had actually been a girl you were touching? Think about it, stupid, like I would have complained. Keiko's not gonna like hearing that. <laughs> you wouldn't dare tell Keiko that for real! Well, there is this new CD I want, and I haven't had enough money to buy it. And you want me to buy it for you? <laughs> would you please knock it off? We're supposed to be rescuing Yukina! That's right! No. I don't have time for this! Okay. Here goes! By my red pinky string, I'm led to my heart's content! Someone's here. Demon two of the triad in Maki. Sorry, I missed. <laughs> you just tore up the great fighting headband of love! You're dead! <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Can you sense where this guy is hiding? No. <laughs> He's too fast. It feels like he's all around us. You okay? Let's run! <laughs> <laughs> yes, the old cat and mouse. Futon, take this next corner! Right! 
There's nothing you can do. <laughs> okay, he's here! Shotgun! <laughs> Of a cheap move when you don't even have to aim. What? What? When there was only one direction you could come from, it was easy. I just had to sense your spirit energy around the corner. Uh. And taking my cue from Kuabara here, I just fired a major shotgun blast to cover the whole stretch of the hallway. <gasps> Clever, huh? <laughs> <laughs> one, one more! <sighs> <laughs> yeah! Pound him, Yusuke! Now, Kawenma, sir, you do remember that if Yusuke beats the triad, I get to eat your sugar-coated strawberry rice cake, right? I quit this bet. But, sir, everyone knows if you quit a bet, you have to swallow a thousand needles. Oh, I forgot. Ogre, I hate you. Watch out! Huh? <laughs> 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 the name's Goku Monkey, third demon of the triad. I'll write it on your gravestone. Are you sure you won't hit your friend? Yes, good question. <laughs> Dirty trick. I was afraid of hitting Botan! I must have held back too much energy! Kuwabara! Hey! Can you get up? <laughs> you don't have the nerve to attack me as long as I have her! Shoot! Unless you have another plan, I'm going to start the crushing! Botan, raise your arms! Oh, yeah. What a win, sir. Did you see that? Well, of course I did. Don't ask silly questions. <gasps> Obviously, I did a good job selecting use cake. What happened to my sugar-coated strawberry rice cake? My goodness! I must have accidentally eaten it just now. You see, I get so very excited when Yusuke Kay wins that my hand just starts throwing things in my mouth. You really think I'm stupid? <laughs> <laughs> you! I never dreamed they'd be this strong. I'd say that wraps up our bet with the demon triad. Yes, and it appears I've won again. Perhaps you should quit now, Darugane. That brings my winnings up to 50 billion. Think for yourself, Sakyo. You may have raked in a fortune, but the rest of us haven't been so lucky. We gotta keep playing. Sakyo seems to have the inside track on these fights. I say we all bet on whatever team he does and make back all of our money. Yes, it's a damn strike. <laughs> Well, you better do it all in one shot, because there's only one more bet. <laughs> hmm. Yes, brother, now it's finally our turn to fight. Who will win the final battle, the intruders? Or the Taguro brothers? <sighs> only I know the Taguro's true power. They'll bet a few billion on the intruders, and I'll make my money back. All eyes are on you, Sakyo. What's the call? <laughs> 66 trillion and 200 million. Huh? 66 trillion, 200 million on the intruder's victory. 66 trillion, 200 million? No way! That's a ridiculous amount of money! He couldn't possibly back that up! unheard of! It's more than Japan's gross national product. It's more than any country's product! 
But by my calculations, that is your gross product if you include the Hiroseki stone creator. Interesting. So Torukane really could pay. He'd have to sell even the fillings in his teeth, but he could do it. And that means he has to accept the bet. The rest of us won't gamble. We'll just watch as one of you is permanently ruined. What's Sakio up to? Is it possible he knows something I don't about this? Uh, who am I kidding? He's just cocky. I'm the only one who knows the truth. And when I win this bet, I'll have more money than anyone ever. <sighs> Fine! I'm, I'm taking, taking your, your bet. bet! Now, now you, you better not let, let me, me down! down. <laughs> it's been ages since I've been contracted for such a fight. I might enjoy myself. Sakasta. Have you Kina brought to me? And don't you let the Black Black Club know she's the one. We are all going to have to play our cards very carefully now. All we gotta do is stop Tarukane, and that'll be easy greasy! Uh, maybe not. What now? Hold on. Yeah, I can definitely feel it. They're moving Yukina. How can you tell? We're attached, remember? Uh... Let's see if I can get her attention. Yukina! Calling all Yukinas! Can you hear me? Yukina! <gasps> You. It's me, Kuwabara. Kuwabara? Do I know you? She said my name! Huh? Never fear! I am Kuwabara. I have come here for you. And with my sensitive eye and big shiny sword, I will save you. Then we can date, right? <laughs> Please, go away! <gasps> what did you say? Oh, the pain! No one must ever come near me. You'll only be killed. They've hired terrible guards. <laughs> Don't worry. We've already taken care of them all. No, you're wrong. The worst ones are standing right next to me. There must be a mistake. I don't even sense their spirit energy. Look, baby, we'll be there soon. <laughs> I've got a definite lock on her now, and I don't care if she wants us to or not. We're saving my love. Hurry! Ooh, a basement. Uh, so this is her filthy prison. I can't believe they would be here. Yukina, hold on, I'm coming. What are these things? Disgusting, I'd say. Come on, guys, we don't have time for that. The door's closing. Hurry! I take it we have one more fight. Forget it, their total spirit energy couldn't hurt a wingless fly! <gasps> there she is! Don't worry, we're coming for you soon. Both the brothers are fighting? I feel sorry for you, Skate. Are you sorry for the rice cake? <laughs> Welcome. Try not to be too hard on us. We're fragile. Everyone seems to know the Taguro brothers' reputation, except for the two boys about to fight them. Can Yusuke and Kuobara overcome this strange pain? And what exactly is the secret behind their power? What a fight! We've got two demon brothers versus two human friends. Punching it out over an ice apparition who, let's not forget, is Hiei's sister. But before Hiei crashes the party, which he will, you'll be amazed at how the Tagora brothers fight, giving a whole new meaning to teamwork. 
our side is clearly outmatched, but Cool Bar's emotions will unlock a level of power he's never reached before. Don't miss this dynamite episode of Yu Yu Hakusho. Time to throw them in. 